The following program contains explicit language, crude humor, and sexual references. The Zero G Network vehemently expresses that parental discretion be used with regard to this podcast. Thank you and enjoy the fucking show. It's Sunday morning, and right now, every talk show on the radio sucks. If you're looking for high quality entertainment, you're in the wrong damn place. But since you're here, let's have a little fun. And now, the best morning show that's on during the weekend. You're listening to It Is What It Is, starring Free Smith, The Iceman Comet, Philip Mifflin. That's right. Oh, you see? Wow. Look, okay, fine. Ed Cummins. Boom sweat is lubrication for titty fucking. Crystal Williams. I do not have a penis. And Andrew Graff. I know you're in for a week. I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. You ain't got no job. Ain't any ass shit to do. Good morning. Good morning. Good motherfucking morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Hi. Morning. I, I'm, I don't care. I'm going to keep saying morning even though it's after 12. Yeah, we, we noticed. Okay, yeah, we yeah that's all right. We're so, on Pacific time. Yeah, so I'm sorry for being late with the show today. Or something. We're, we're about half hour late because... Half I, hour and six you know, minutes. Yeah, half hour and six minutes, so 36 minutes. And Good job. And my friends spent that whole time being douchebags. I didn't yes. even get a cigarette. Would you expect anything less? I got nothing. I, would I expect anything less out of what? Uh, oh. Than us being douches oh. to you. I expect better from you. No, you don't. I know. I <laughs> know she. Lie. I know she's evil. I know he's a bastard. I know he don't know no better. But I look to you for the fucking light, man. I am not and evil. Here, I think I can pull one up. On oh, the Diana just posted. Did it I'm just start? I thought I was late. Evil tendencies, but <laughs> I thought you said half an hour, half hour, and tits minutes. For, first off, <laughs> it, <laughs> as as many kids as she, as they have. He should never worry about being late. I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> Fuck oh you. God. Wow. Hell no, you'll get me pregnant, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to stop taking your pants off at home. Okay. Do so the no pants dance. No pants dance. You really want me to do the no, no pants dance? Okay. No, no. All right. I do not. Because I have one. I can do the no pants dance. What? I'm yeah. not wearing pants. We'll do it. All right, now do the no skirt twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus My bad. Okay. Christ. All right. So, so everybody, you 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 hear that it sounds really open, like there's a lot of open and all that going on. It's because it is. Yeah. We're it's not because in a dungeon. We are not at the basement. We're not at the Zero G Network. We're for the Zero G Network, but we're not at the Zero G Network. We are at Imperial Pub and Club. There we go. That's right. Say it again. Imperial, Imperial Pub, Pub and Club. Club. That's right. Imperial pub and club and we are straight kicking it andy mckee being good enough to open the doors and let us the hell in so that we can come in and ruin your sunday from an alternate location and what what is that that was nothing (laughs) i feel like that's a lie (laughs) that's kind of a lie i feel like pornhub has music on their splash screen now apparently (laughs) (laughs) speaking Speaking of which, how's that uh, how's that VR shit working out for you there, Phil? Or Ed, sorry, my bad. <laughs> it's intense. Okay, uh-huh. I was really hoping. It's in your face. Oh no, my God. it is <laughs> not <laughs> in my it's face. In your face. Surprise! Oh, wow. That's, I will never watch a money shot via that way. Ever. <laughs> That's why I don't watch that type of Fucking form. Fucking ever. All right, so yeah, we are here at Imperial Pub and Club in Granite City, Illinois. And Do so you know where they are? By the way, thank you. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, back, yell, let's yell that shit. Back. Yeah, thank, back you. And thank you. Thank you. Now, where's Imperial Pub and Club at? It's in G City. It's in 1413 20th Street in Granite City, Illinois, 62040. Yes, yes, yes. It is right across the street from Flaming Don's Tattoos. And if you've been around Granite at all, you know where the hell Flaming Don's is. So bring your ass down here and have a beer with us sometime. I've lived yes. in Granite for a long time. <laughs> I didn't know where it was. That's I knew Phil was going to okay, say something. You, just, you don't go anywhere. I knew where Stephanie's was. If you would have said Stephanie's, hey, would have been right here. I didn't know where Stephanie's was. It's right across the street. I know that now. <laughs> it's right next door to <laughs> Flaming Bob's. I know that Flaming now. Flaming okay. Don's. Or Don's. Keep, keep wow. in mind, though, I've never heard of Stephanie's. Everyone has heard of Flaming Don's. And I tell him, I'm like, it's right across the street from Flaming Don's. He's like, I don't know where that is. I'm like, you have tattoos. 
Yeah, I have Bill, tattoos. You have tattoos? I didn't get... I, I, you don't know he had tattoos? Oh, yeah, you do. I, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I never really looked. I've got one here. He, he, I've got oh, a couple yeah. there. Okay, okay. I don't, a couple here. I don't really stare at Bill very much. Take off my pants. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> no, he's no keep the pants on. Pants. <laughs> there is no, no pants dance for you. It's all <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't need any more kids. Apparently, there will be sex in the champagne room today. That's a... Yeah, we're not going to have champagne, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and thank some people. Let's get that out of the way. I need you guys to handle that. I got it. I absolutely need to put something wet in my mouth. So I'm going to go do Um, that. Okay. (laughs) Go ahead. Take off your pants, Bill. Go ahead. Really? (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. um, Please need some of that mucus down his throat. Okay, y'all are some suck-ass friends. (laughs) Every one of you, thank people. Andrew. I'm just gonna okay. sit here and drink my tea. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna drink my uh, my my sodi. And um, so okay. I'll drink your too, motherfucker. First off, if you uh, I don't know I don't, I don't think we have the phone lines connected today, so I'm not gonna give you the phone number because that'd be a waste of your goddamn time. Um, but if you want to find us on Facebook, search it is what it is podcast. And if you don't know how to spell that, you're too stupid to listen. Mindy Pluma at All Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is the fucking bomb. If you need a new vehicle, if you need a used vehicle, if you want to be treated like a damn all star, you need to contact Mindy Pluma at 314 288 5393. Where is All Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram? It's right on I 70, right near the Rock Road. She will take care of you. She will make sure that she gets you into a vehicle that will match your budget, match your needs, match your wants, because she is the fucking bomb. She is the best salesperson in the world and she will take care of you and that is what's most important also i want to thank freeze even though he's not up here right now that's why i'm thanking him because i don't want his head to get any bigger either one of them for that matter ew you're very welcome tanya uh he works for this wonderful company called zero degree entertainment that he runs owns is the proprietor of and he will dj the fuck out of whatever you need to be dj the fuck out of um so yeah he's a dj he also will uh preside over your wedding because he's a good guy like that. He's all about love and, and respect. Well, okay, I was going to say respect, but no, that that's not really right. He's all about love. He will respect the hell out of that gig. That's that's exactly <laughs> right. He will respect will the respect hell out of that gig. Yes, yeah. he will. Even if he doesn't respect you. Mm-hmm. Um, Zero Degree Entertainment at 732-474-7393. Where's my beer, motherfucker? Okay. Um, it's, I don't know. Okay. I think it's at the bar. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> waiting, for, waiting for me to buy it. It's at the bar in the cooler. <laughs> Got it. I was actually going to buy everyone beers. I don't drink. But then the struggle is real. Right. That's No, no. The, the, I was actually going to buy everyone beers. Okay. I don't but want a beer. I don't want yes. beer. I don't drink beer. Okay. Well, what would you like? What would you like, Crystal? Crown and Coke. Would you like? Okay. Lobster. First of all, you're not even allowed to say clown. <laughs> fucking let alone drink it. Okay. We talked about this. Can I thank one we more person? We talked about that. I wasn't supposed to do it in your house. Yeah, shut up. Let, let Andrew finish thanking oh, people. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Andrew. Go I, ahead. Hey, I got to thank the most important person, uh, and that's Jeffrey Shepard. Yeah. the AV Lab. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> we all miss Fro. We all miss Fro. Yeah, I but mean, when he says it, it's creepy. It, well, it's not it's creepy. creepy. Well, Freeze is creepy. It's yeah, creepy when Freeze it's says not, it. That's it's true. not creepy when I say it. But it kind of is. Well, we talk Did you about hear the way you just said it? I just wish it would hold me. That's all. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Keep going, Andrew. Well, I was just going to say what AV Lab does. Oh. They yeah. do stuff. They do stuff. Crystal, t- they, tell, tell them what the stuff is. Um, They do video. Yes. So if you need something recorded. And video. They do a really good job. A damn um, good job. They do sound. So, you know, if you've got a conference or something and you need it wired for sound, they, they can do that for you, too. And, uh, you know, if, if you want, say, a uh, highlight reel for your favorite athlete, yeah. they can hook that up for you, or too. Or your own kid. Or your own kid. Well, you know, hopefully your kid is your favorite athlete. That's true. Hey, so. yeah, if you, question, if you want a highlight reel of some kid he, that doesn't belong to you, we won't do that. <laughs> yeah, that's just creepy. <laughs> does he convert, like, VHS to DVD type? He can do that as well. digital? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All of your AV needs. Had a friend asking about it. And that's audio All visual. of your AV of needs, it. they can handle and if they can't, they will refer you to someone who can. Cool. Yes. Okay, so we got that, right? And also, we're, again, I'm going to thank, is his name Andy again? Yes, Andy, Andy McKee. From, Andy yes. McKee from Andy Imperial McKee. Pub and Club right here in Granite City. Yes. Again, Thanks, Andy. 1413 20th Street in Granite City. That's where we're broadcasting from. So come on down. Have a beer. We appreciate it, Andy. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. And you know what? They, they do show mad love. We had a boatload of fun like every time we come here. It's so good. It's so good. Stop it. 
So what are we going to do now? Oh, I, I, I got a question. Are we being recorded? Hmm? No, not, not at the moment. No, no. Trump just got elected. He hasn't turned on the surveillance yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Are we going to go there? Yeah. Um, are we going to go? Okay. Well, <laughs> t- Phil right. is ready. Let's just go ahead and just jump right into that shit, buddy. Our reg- are we going to do that now or are we going to do our regular stuff first? You know what? Considering that all you fuckers were late getting on the air today. Get so let's the just fuck out of here. <laughs> technically, you, hey, really? you didn't get on the air until late, did you? Say I'm lying. And whose fault was See, that? See, notice that Here's I wasn't pointing out fault. <laughs> Here's okay, the thing. I just talked about the result. Here's which the was thing. That y'all None of us could get on the air if it, you know. It was some disrespectful be, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. That's you know what? It's assorted I little feel like snack maybe, mix. I feel like maybe you, you should hire the AV lab to, you know, <laughs> hook some shit up for you. And um, you know he's white, so we'll be on time. Oh, oh. Wow. wow! Whoa! I'm just saying. Holy shit! <laughs> Although this is Jeffrey we're talking about, I'm actually the one in the relationship oh. that doesn't like being late, and wow, you know, I, he kind of runs on BP time too. But you, we'll only be about five minutes late instead of thirty five. So. Okay, well, you know what? I go hard. All right, that's what? how it is. What's your I, lateness? No. <laughs> Did you? Okay, all right. I go hard with my lateness, son. <sighs> all of okay. you, all of you, all the dicks, Ten snack dicks? size. Okay, so Phil. Jump right into it. Okay. You, you, Bill's got some shit so, to say. Yeah, all right. He's so, real so every, eager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we all know that over the weekend, Trump was sworn in as a 45th president. I, yes. I, okay. I heard that he's going to imitate the president. No, no. Here's my Stop problem, it. okay? I will be the first to admit I did not support the man. I did not vote for the man. Oh, you were not the first one. Okay. That. <laughs> but he was sworn in. He is our president. And therefore, I believe he is due a little bit of respect. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to like him. Believe in what he has to say, but I do think he should be respected as the president. And until he does something wrong from this point forward, you shouldn't say anything bad about him. He oh, hasn't wait, wait, done wait. anything wrong uh, as the president. Uh, as the president, uh, he has uh, not done a damn thing wrong yet. And until he does, he should be given a little bit of respect. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Next, like Andrew, that. your take. My take on, on, on Trump becoming president, um, it's very simple. He just got elected. I want to see what he's done. I didn't vote for the guy. I didn't vote for her either. Um, but I think we should give him a shot. Um, I liked most of what I heard in his inauguration speech. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I thought it was very, very patriotic, very pro-American. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how that's going to work on the world scene. Uh, so I am a little bit worried about his uh, about his aspirations for dealing with uh, with you know everything outside of these uh, glorious fifty United States foreign policy. Yeah, his foreign yeah. policy does does worry me a little bit, as well as a number of his cabinet positions, uh, cabinet members that he's trying to get put in there. But uh, I mean, I gotta say, I mean, the thing is, I can't root for him to, to do bad because that means that our country's doing shit, and I want our country to succeed. So while I find him personally to be um, to uh, reprehensible, to, um, I was going to say despicable in some in, on some of, on some asset, uh, aspects of his uh, of his public life. Um, clearly, it seems like he's raised some good kids, uh, or maybe it's the mom who did it. I don't know, or the moms because he's been married a couple times. But I mean, the kids seem all right. They don't seem like they're crazy wackadoos. So um, I'm going to say, give him a chance. And and stop tearing shit up, people. Protest all the fuck you want, right. but stop burning shit down. Stop breaking fucking windows. Stop throwing a fucking tamper, temper tantrum like your goddamn three-year-old who just found out that you're not going to get your binky for the next hour, okay? If you want to protest, protest. But don't destroy other people's hard-earned shit. That's right. You're wanting to sit there and blame that he's destroying this country, which he, which he has not yet done. And yet, you're I lo- the one who's I love who's that yet. Actually- that's true. <laughs> he's like, yeah, we know, there's a possibility. We know he's going to fuck it up. up. We just hope he eases into it. Well, Loom. there's always a possibility, but he has not done that yet. Okay. Okay. And until he does, quit saying stuff about it. Okay. And you're the one who's actually destroying the country. I, I Literally. S- I slightly agree Physically. with that. Physically. I slightly agree with that. Okay. Slightly. slightly. Yeah, yeah, slightly. But I'm, I'm going to let Ed. Are we talking a smidget? <laughs> a smidget. <laughs> just, 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 smidget. Just stop it. It, it, just, just stop it. Okay, so, Ed, give it to me. All right. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I, I just can't see shit around you people. Nope. Nope. 
for me. Um, I was never really a... I, I was never really pro-Trump. I was anti-Hillary. Um, I don't agree with a lot of the things that Trump stands for. However, to me, he was the lesser of two evils. Now, that being said, I think he is going to kill it financially. We are going to see another boom economically because that's what he does. He's a businessman. He knows the money. Uh, show me the money. He knows it. Show me the tax return. <laughs> Touche. Show me where the money went. Show me where the money's going. Touche. Mm-hmm. Now, that being said, I'm a little leery of his foreign policy. I am probably the only person here that did vote for Trump, but that's just because of the fact that I did not want Hillary in. Here, here. Okay. You know what? That's fair. Crystal? Okay, so most importantly, first things first, I broke a nail. It's really sad. Oh, okay. Um, Damn. Second. Was it your, your Coke nail? It kind of was. <laughs> I'm so upset. Except I don't do Coke. So. By the way, Diana Have you just seen admitted me? to making fluffy. sandwiches. I want a sandwich. Okay, yeah, want, she she said you won't believe the internet she's making. Yeah, she said you won't believe I'm saying this, but I'll be back. I've got to make my son a sandwich. Apparently. Oh well. Why would I wait? So, Why would we have a hard time believing that? Uh, I don't know. So she's like, all right, I'm just gonna feed him. I'm gonna give up. Sandwich. Tired of me yodeling. Okay, so first things first, leave his family alone. Yes. Like, stop messing with his kids. Like, seriously, just knock it off. So here's my take on it. Um, it's done. Okay, he's our president. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, he was voted in. That's what the people wanted, apparently, somewhat. <laughs> okay, and it's done. Give the man a chance. All we can do now is hope that he does a good job. There's no point in rioting. There's no point, honestly, there's not even a point in protesting. Because seriously, what's your protest going to do? At this point, nothing. Right. You're wasting your time. Your protest is not going to make or break this man being president. Nope. It is what it is. Hey. Let nice, it go. nice segue. I, I've heard something about them. Yeah. 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 Something Foul like mouth they're motherfuckers. Sick as fuck in the head. <laughs> yeah, Foul they're sick. Mouth I am kind of curious about Freeze's view. Oh, that's you're, and you're totally going to get it, too. Oh, we you're know. Total, yeah. Right you're, after you're, this commercial you're, break from... <clears throat> <laughs> Com- <laughs> commercials? <laughs> commercial break. Wait, wait, what's, what, what's a commercial? You don't you have to have sponsors for that? Or yeah, something? we. Well, you know, we got we got some. I, I feel th- like I, we I, need Cheetos. I thought we do our commercials at the start. <laughs> we and just end elected of the show. one. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Orange is the new black. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. No, black no. is still the new black. No, 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 no. Black doesn't crack. So we're gonna we're just gonna leave that be right there. Right there. So, talking yes. to, we're, we're talking about the Trump thing, right? By the way, Sweetie wants a sandwich. The, okay. The, I am starving. Come on, I'm some of them sandwiches. I, I need foods. Okay, you know what? Somebody, anybody, if you're near Imperial Pub and Club, bring then, me foods. No, you don't have to bring food. There's a kitchen here. There's food here. Then go they, get me foods. They prepare. Damn! Do you like after the show? Or make her like now. Sandwich, make me right? a sandwich, you, bitch. You, you, <laughs> damn. Okay. Damn. Damn it. All right. You, all right. Fair the, the the whole making sandwiches I dare thing. You to call in your order. <laughs> the biggest problem that I have with that <laughs> is that your sandwich is too small. <laughs> you know, she's really gonna fucking do it. She's sit really, and spin, Phil. Sit and spin. Damn. How is he supposed to do that on that hook ass finger? <laughs> there's a, there's a platform for him. There's a damn. <laughs> I'm really upset for a stripper. Really ass. upset that your middle finger has a diving board. <laughs> <laughs> really, that really ass. upset by that. It's oh, like the a, women love it though. Fucking eagle's claw. The the women love it though. I'm stuck. J- whoa, whoa, whoa! Considering what you have talked to us about, like as far as vagina and that. Holy crap! Somebody's calling and my phone's up there. Grab my yeah, phone. Yeah, it's me. I was calling in my order for my sandwich. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Like, is this a thing? I just right wanted now? to get you really excited re- about you Crystal, know someone calling. I, I, I just call. got a question. Are you going to go out and work on my car? Oh, here we go. Do I look like I'm going to go out and work on? Do you see this dress? Um, and a very lovely dress it is. It Thank is, you. It is very lovely. Thank you very much. It is a very beautiful. Do you see me fit. with an apron? I don't give a shit. I didn't. Did I ask you for a sandwich? Well, I mean, you look like you're growing one. I mean, so there's that. <laughs> 
All right, freeze. I did that shit. Mother. Oh my fuck. god, the other hand does it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus, stop doing that. I oh can do god, that. You fucking mutant. All Double right. jointed. All right, so we were talking about my opinion with Trump, oh. and I'm doing that shit, and it's happening. All okay. Right, go ahead. So, first off, I don't. Somebody tell me what happened with the whole kid thing, because I know nothing about that. I can tell you. Okay, so. So some bitch from. Uh, from from fucking Saturday Night Live, she's a writer for SNL. Uh, decided to go to her Twitter account and post quote Baron, which is Trump's ten year old son. Okay. Ten, ten, mind ten, you, ten okay. fucking years old. Right. Baron will be this country's first homeschool shooter. You know. Oh. I saw that post and I didn't know who the fuck Baron was. Oh. That okay. Now that makes sense. That is yeah. Uh, that's that's a little beyond fucked and, up. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, leave the kid alone. And then yeah. that dirty, filthy cunt decided to take her uh, Twitter post and make it pr- and, and make it private. Wow. So she can go fuck herself with all the dicks of the SNL crew because that bitch is a fucking cunt. And I hope that she. I'm not going to say I hope is she it, dies. No, now hold on. Is I, it, hope, I hope she's maimed. Is this the yes. SNL crew past and present? Current. Eddie Murphy going to wear that ass out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. All the SNL crew. Yes. Like, all from, the, from forever. Yeah, including, from, including like, John Just Belushi. train that bitch. Now, that's going to be interesting. Moving that on. That shit on YouTube. So, um, what, so what's your thing? Tell, tell us, bud. Here, here's the deal. You're, you're absolutely right in and of that. It's, uh, I know it's ashy. Could you not? <laughs> need some lotion? No, apparently, I need all the lotion. Okay, uh, moving around. I'm never gonna finish this thought. All right, let's let so, him finish the thought. <laughs> yeah, let me finish the thought. You know how hard it is for me. She's um, putting lotion on him. It, it's, hey, if she don't want the hose again, <laughs> fucking act right. <laughs> now, I'm putting lotion on his weenus. It puts the lotion on the <laughs> stop skin. Stop it! Stop it! Everybody so it doesn't get the hose. I, really, okay, okay. I really want to hear this thought of his. I, I know. Really I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Phil. Stop. I was just. It, I'm upset that he said this it. thought of his. Like it's the only one I've had in a while. I mean, kind like, of. He had an idea. Shut the fuck up and let him get it, it out before it he loses. Kind of is right. Uh, Here's the deal. At least an important one. Here's the deal. You're right. Picking on the kid, absolutely unfucking forgivable. And that's that's just that's it. Now, as far as the whole respecting Trump thing, Phil, you were like, he's the president. He deserves respect as our president because he hasn't fucked up anything with the presidency yet. That's a double-edged sword, in my opinion. Because, see, if I'm supposed to give him a chance based on the fact that he hasn't fucked up as the president, then so, too, must he earn that respect for me as our president. Now, I respect the office of the United States presidency. Fair enough. I respect the idea. I respect what it stands for. Oh, that's just TVs. It's, again, it's that laugh. Okay. Okay. So, I respect the office. I respect what's going on that way. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. I respect the job that it entails. And to a degree, I respect people who really want to have it and really want to do something with it. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't feel like Trump is that guy. I, I just don't. I seriously feel like his bid for the presidency was just like a dodge move. Like, he was about to get into some really big shit, and he's just like, I, I need help. And he was just like, you know what? Rather than go to the top, I'll just be the top. And because, you know what? Tax returns still ain't coming out yet. And now that he's president, is he going to be asked? No. Shit like that. Okay. Kind of feel like you should, though. I mean, they asked Obama for his birth certificate the entire time. And I, you know what? I and he love, never delivered it. No, yes, he did. No, he he, did. he delivered the video. <laughs> oh, come on. You know that shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop> anyway. <it. laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> do but at the same time, I, was imp- I, I personally was not pressing for Obama's birth certificate. I did not care. Right. I didn't get Just like, shits. I don't care about the tax return. Now, I do care about the tax return because this goes back to what Ed was saying. Ed said he is a businessman. He knows the business. Now, aside from the fact that he's had an untold amount of failures and and even more scandals that revolve around his organizations, his what is his charity or whatever the hell, all that all that bullshit. Like you're supposed to be a business person. You won't tell America how you spent money, where your money went. But you want um, 
America to allow you to spend their money. Right. You want America to hand you a pen and America's checkbook and just trust that everything's going to be okay. Okay. Now, 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 on the other side of that, though, okay, Trump is a businessman. His attorneys, his tax people, they are going to find each and every single little loophole that the government has allowed, that the IRS has allowed. Now, if his tax returns have all of those loopholes being used, he's going to turn around and be discredited in a financial sense. Okay. But the point being is, it's too late now. I mean, for real, let me ask you a question. God forbid, but if you woke up tomorrow, picked up the newspaper, and found that Trump had killed somebody, just killed someone, way back when, never got caught, by, you know, and then just you know, only in only in the the, the uh, election, the, the electoral votes. And it's only that way. Which again, I think that shit was stacked too. No, I was just but thinking about Hillary killing people. That, wow. Or them died. dying around her. My bad. There are a lot of people who have died wow. around the Clintons. Damn. Well, my bad. Like I'm talking, like Damn. if you could take all of our fingers and toes and add them up, I, I know that's math. How many fingers and toes is that? There are five of us. Ten fingers, ten toes. Oh, well, that would be 100 total digits. Oh, yay! Wait, does anybody Can have any extra? You do math. Yeah, I math. Does anybody have extra? I math. In fact, well, I've got one extra finger in between yeah. my legs. I okay, pre- you nasty bastard. <laughs> Wait, what? That's the called my third leg, dude. Ah, oh my god. See. Okay, getting back. Everybody to Trump. makes the third leg joke. And third getting, leg. Getting back to your point. Okay. My dick has a shoe on it. Moving on. Oh my god. Um, when you become the president, when you sign up for this particular job, mm-hmm. okay, and the country is led to believe that they chose you and you know people are <laughs> yeah i said that shit i said that shit okay okay when you have led the people to believe that they have chosen you as a president as our leader and whatnot i believe that there's a lot of shit that you lose that, that's just that is what that is you lose things like the measure of privacy privacy definitely okay you lose the right to act like an asshole because you see fit. Okay? I think that you should be disqualified if you act like an asshole while you're running for the office. Okay, that's... This dude varsity football quarterbacked his way to the presidency, beating up every nerd, every mathlete, and every chess player, as well as that one chick from the the archery range. <laughs> what? I don't know what she shoots. Anyway. And it got all the way there. And now we have him. He, he's there. He's homecoming king. He's com- oh, 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 my God. Just, just, just. Mm. I respect the office of the presidency. But the man himself has done very little to show me why I should respect him as the president. Now, there's that difference between respect and and shit talking respect and wanting to do somebody harm you said we should stop talking about him no in fact no I said we should stop talking badly about him you know what I'm gonna say it right here right now fuck him fuck him in his orange ear and here's why because he just signed up to be the point guard for the biggest team ever and the first rule of the game we play is we can say what the fuck we want when we want right and there it is if he wants to lead a country that is supposed to be free enough to say what you want then he needs to be able to take a little shade okay and you're entitled to your opinion i just do not agree with it i I mean (laughs) that's what america's about that's what's beautiful well yes okay that's what's lovely is the fact that we have the right to disagree with each other now (laughs) you don't want to know what scares me the most though what how long will we have that right that's rhetorical. Moving on. Okay, good. If Hillary was in office, I would have given her a year. Wow. Before what? Before she systematically destroyed the Bill of Rights. Do you, See, think, that, I, I do you think it's any safer now? Yes, I do. I just, I don't. I, I disagree with the fact that 
the election was rigged. It wasn't rigged. If it, is, if it was okay. rigged, Hillary would have been president. Okay, first of all, every election is rigged. The Electoral College took care of that. Okay, we don't vote for shit. When I found out that basically my vote is wasted, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I, as a citizen, my, my, my vote means nothing because apparently big wigs that think that they know better than me what's good for me are going to decide who my leaders are. I live in a country where I'm supposed to be able to choose my leaders, and my leaders are choosing my leaders. I feel like that just doesn't make any kind of fucking sense. Do you realize that if we didn't have the Electoral College between California, New York, and uh, I believe it's Texas... Then I'd have to go to electric electoral beauty school, like night school. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Those three states would have two-thirds of the votes here in the United States. Okay. So it's a math thing. Yes. Okay. Um, They don't have a system for figuring that the fuck out that doesn't involve the American people getting cheated? Because if they have that system, I'd really like them to go ahead and roll that the fuck out. This old one isn't working for me. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. And see, look, we don't have to worry about dead silence because we got all this background. I like that shit. Look at that. Uh-huh. Commercials and shit. Hey. That, that, that's hey. our crickets here, right? The, no crickets here. Look at that. No fucking crickets. Yeah, I think your cricket no. died because we haven't heard him for about a month. Oh, he's on vacay. He's on vacay? Yeah, he's oh. on vacay. Yep. Decided to go next door? He met a spider. Oh, oh so, yeah. there, so there's going to be sprickets. They're making it work. <laughs> I'm just saying. Fuck. They're just making it work. Well, I mean, no, it might. They might only have one or two. I mean, it's they're not, they're they're down in Tijuana like with Phil the Spanish the fly. I mean, oh I'm sorry. You stop. Just, I'm sorry, my potent friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have a really important question. Okay. Uh-oh. Do they have a menu? Um. Yeah. Okay, because the bitch mm. is really hungry. Okay. Damn, she's going for it. All right. Go get herself she, some food. She's going all in. All right. Now, now, freeze. Sweet. Didn't you say some? Tell us something about coming hungry. Yeah, I, because they serve food here. <coughs> that we have to pay for. No, that I was going to pay for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that money, honey. Oh, no, you can just go order your, order your food. I'm, I'm, I'm to see. <laughs> there you go. Fuck. All right, go. Go. D- really? What is it with everybody giving middle fingers today? I or, didn't give a middle or, finger. Or, or I, haven't middle got, middle finger. And I haven't given a single oh, middle finger. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. How do you give more than... Never mind. You give up. No, not that. That that doesn't work. The, mm-hmm. Jesus, Ed, mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. just stop. Go. Double stop. No just you. fucking stop, all of middle. you. It is in uh, the middle. There you go. Okay, so we're falling the shit real quick because Crystal's just like, "Fuck it, I'm hungry. Fuck you guys." Bring um, a menu back, please. Re- really? Damn. Please. Yeah, bring our food. To yeah, us too. or some. Yeah, just bring the food up. Fuck it. <laughs> all right. So what are we gonna do next? I love it. Well, are, you, are you finished? Are, you, are, you, are we going to keep talking about this? Well, we were... Beating I, the shit into the ground? We always beat it into the ground. No, actually, I was going to talk about how good the fucking food actually here is here. How like good is it? Yeah. What the hell was that? Was it, what? It, that was was a, a tri- it was a... That is my text message. It's an original yeah. tricorder sound. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. No, um, well, that's not a tricorder sound, is it? No. I thought that it, was a hail. It is a yeoman's whistle. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew it was it from the original series. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, see, we all have ADD like a motherfucker, <laughs> but apparently I'm being told that I can't, I can't do the thing that I wanted to do. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I I got in trouble. So. Um, you can't do the thing you wanted to do. I, I couldn't do the thing I wanted to do. Um, go ahead and flip that on over to the to the you your pay for it section, whatever. And um, moving forward, Andrew, please give me some straight dope. All right, time for a little straight dope. But I guess we don't have the intro here. No, no, no. I, have, I, I have nothing. We're just doing it. Random ass facts I find funny, educational, or just a little bit fucked up. For the masses. For the masses. Thank you. You're right. Yes. How about this? This kind of freaked me out. Kind of like Big, Bro- Big Brother watching. But Google Maps, you know, they have like, when you, when you use Google Maps, because almost all, I think all of us are Android users here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're using it and you're, you're doing the directions someplace, how it has, you know, like heavy traffic areas, it has them in, in red and, you mm-hmm. know, kind of a little bit faster in orange and shit like that. <laughs> well, Google Maps calculates traffic by tracking how fast Android devices are moving on the road. I knew this. 
I did not know that. I knew that. that. Yes. I did not know that. I knew that. Say that again. That's Big Brother for you. I know. Google, Google tracks the speed of the devices that Android they have. Android devices on the road. And that's how they get their traffic reports and all that huh. stuff. That's how they, they gauge all that. That, that kind of sense. freaks me out a little bit, actually. Um, Everybody's That's why I have location. Turn off your phone. Well, I, that's okay. why I have Would location turned off. Just, I can't reach the damn phone. I can't do everything oh my at sweet once. Baby. Jesus. I okay. Know. You know what? I thought it was white men that can't chop. Just run the show because I'm. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to have to fight today. I guess so. so. How about know. this? People who stay up later at night are more likely to have nightmares. I'm um, fucked. How does that work? If they're staying up, they're not sleeping. <laughs> when they go to sleep. They have nightmares. No, they have daymares if they're staying up that late. I mean, I can agree with that. Like, I, I, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, there's that. Keep going. All right. When you get a sunburn, it's actually not your skin cells being damaged by the sun and dying. It's your skin cells' DNA being damaged by the sun, and then they're killing themselves so they don't turn into cancer. Suicidal DNA. Suicidal DNA. You know, I've I've never had a sunburn. Imagine that. Yeah, go ahead and handle that. Go ahead, keep keep going. Be okay. Good. All right. Supermarkets hide the dairy products and other essential bits of groceries in the back of the store, so you have to go through the whole goddamn store to get some. Yes. Yep. That is true. Very that true. Is, that is a, a fucked up scheme. Okay, that's why all the milk is all the way in the back. It's yeah. always in the back because you have to walk through all that other shit. And while you're walking through all that other shit, you're like, oh, you know, maybe I should grab this. Maybe I should grab that. Oh, yeah. hey, noodles on sale. Correct. Right. Yeah. You see all of their sale prices and shit like exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. It's Bastards. kind of like the impulse items that are right there at the cash at the, register. At the cash register, yeah. While you're Candy bars. Money. Exactly. Candy bars, soda. Gum. Uh, the tabloids. Condoms. Anyway. People... <laughs> I feel like that should not be an impulse. No, those are back in the back. <laughs> You're right. Should not be an impulse buy. Uh, but maybe sometimes. Anyway, um, people who get six to seven hours of sleep a night have a longer life expectancy than those who sleep for eight or more hours per night. Oh, I'm still going to die. Like, I'm going to I don't even get that many. Because like, I usually get four to five. All right. All right. What about you, Phil? Are you six, and six to seven or are you eight or more? Oh, you got kids. You know, wait eight or more. I'm going to sleep at or CPAP. I sleep just fine. All right. But for how long? <sighs> I don't know. I've uh-huh. never really calculated. Okay. I, I guess I get about eight. About eight? Okay. Yeah. So, like, you go to bed. And you fall asleep pretty quickly. You wait, you see you have an alarm set up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you wake up then. It's about eight hours. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. How about this? Um, in 1985, a New Orleans man drowned at a pool party attended by over 100 lifeguards that were celebrating a summer with no drownings. The fuck? Yes. They failed. (laughs) Hashtag. Epically. Hashtag epic fail. Hashtag you had one job. (laughs) I can just see the sign on the uh, board, you know, days of accidents. Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) We went from 365 zero. Right. Fucking (laughs) done. Just done with that shit. Um, how about this? Um, women, well, I, I guess Tanya must have been very stressed. Women who are very stressed during pregnancy tend to give birth to shorter children. Wow, my mom must have been really stressed out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Diana, it, I, it, Diana hey, I'm hey, so hey, sorry hey, for your mom. Hey, hey, it's her. Hey. It's <laughs> He's like, I can't even say it right now. Just hey. Hey there. Fuck you. Yeah, I know. Everybody tells me that. Um, In North Carolina, it is illegal to kill more than four turtles in your lifetime. Where? North Carolina. (laughs) Why is that a thing? (laughs) I mean, you can kill one, you can kill two, you can kill three, you can kill four. But once you get to number five, that's just too fucking much. Why, Why is that even a thing? I... You know what? Isn't that the same place that you can't eat, like, apple pie or something? Uh, uh, Coke. Um, okay, yeah. Coke. I will take a beer, sir, if you're buying. Budweiser. Budweiser or Bud Select, I don't Coke. care. Yeah. Just Coke. Just Coke. Yeah. Rum soda. driving. Coke. Yeah. Um, how about this? The oldest children in families tend <laughs> to have the highest IQs. That's a lie. Well, I did that say is a to. major Massive lie. lie. 
You trying I'm to sorry, tell me? Freeze was talking to me. What was that? Uh, the oldest children in families tend to have the highest IQs. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must be the oldest. Though. <laughs> yeah, it, it, <laughs> well, I know that's not true, motherfucker. That's, that, that, that is right on. Yes. I, I'm on. the baby of the family, and I guarantee you my IQ is higher than both my sisters. I am also the baby, and uh, I mean my brother, my, my the middle child. He's he's probably got okay. the mm-hmm. highest IQ of the three of us, but. My oldest brother. Yes. Dumber than a box of rocks. You're giving him too much credit. Woo! Hey, is this versus like how many children are in the family? Just whether if there is more than one child. Just more than one. No, it's absolutely correct. You know what, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely. You correct. are an only child, aren't you? No, I am not. Okay. I have thirteen. <laughs> Holy brothers shit! And sisters. Mama was busy. Six on my mom. Six on my dad. Well, Mama and Daddy were busy. That's Holy for damn cow. sure. Six plus six equals twelve. I'm sorry, plus I, count, I count me. Yes, the, yeah. there's thirteen of us. Right. So six plus six plus him is yeah thirteen. 13. Yeah. We all caught that. Ed. Yeah, we all caught that. The hell. You now we, you now have taken the place of Freeze as fuck hashtag both of you. Because you know what? what? Was, wait, do that again. What was wrong with your fingers? <laughs> He's talking about his okay. He's got talents yeah, for middle fingers. Yeah, because that's. That's Look, not, sit and spin. There's okay. even a platform for you. That's not normal. That's no, that's not natural. I'm feeling like you should get that checked out, dude. <laughs> like, I, I do that whole thing. Like, yeah. okay. Diana, Diana said that she thinks her brothers are both smarter than her. Well, she does have. She she's the middle child. Okay. Um, also, she said uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is in trouble in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. How about this? Um, there are enough preservatives in a bag of Doritos. Oh, oh. Coke to mummify a small dog. Wait a that minute. That does stop. not surprise me. Stop, stop, stop. Yes. I'm going to need you to read that again and this time be serious. <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. There are enough preservatives in a bag of Doritos <laughs> to mummify a small dog. What, like a hot dog? No, a canine. Like I, a wiener dog. Like a dachshund. Have Who is testing that theory? White right. People. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, here's the thing, though. I actually completely believe it because of the fact that you can actually use Doritos for uh, kindling for fire. There you go. I, they are that flammable. Cheetos, too. Oh, Cheetos really? are even better. Cheetos are great for kindling. Because of all the, the, the natural oils that are in them. Now, I'm pretty sure we had uh, uh, Doritos uh, while camping before. No, and, we didn't. And, uh, and, no, we didn't. You didn't say... <laughs> Did we have... Doritos? I did the shopping, yes. Oh, that's right. You did buy some Cool Ranch. <laughs> Ew. Okay, those right. should be burned. And, and, and you should... No, I would not have bought Cool Ranch. I would have bought Nacho Cheese, okay? Okay. Except no substitutes. That's right. I mean, you said Doritos. You didn't say fake Doritos, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that fake shit. No way. How about this? Um, is everybody familiar with the Battle of... Oh, thank you very much. No, uh, is everyone familiar with... Battle go? I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, battle is everyone the Battle of Thermopylae? Oh no! <laughs> like the oh, movie, yeah, the movie yeah, Three Hundred. Yeah, I, I was this there. This is Sparta. This, this is Sparta. <laughs> yeah, your mic's not on. You know, I, I, I still have not <laughs> seen that cool. movie. I muted it. Okay, cool. I said something stupid. I forgot what it was, but it came out of me, and it was stupid. Move on. Well, yeah, we're used to it. I still have not seen Three Hundred. You should. You, you haven't wow. seen Three Hundred. I actually absolutely movie. love that movie. Yes, yes. It is a like it's fantastic. Yes. Yep. Ed, do you want this? You know what my yes, favorite please. scene was? Never mind, I'm not even going to speak on it. Nope, don't. Not even going to speak Keep on it. Keep going with the sex scene with what's your face. Okay, so hold on. Before I give this to Ed. Um, I'm going to yeah. go grab another one. Hold on. Yeah, we're, we're pushing this whole Imperial thing because, yeah. you know, this we are here. We are out here. And, and they were really good to let us come down and, and do this because I don't even think Andy's heard the show. And I kind of hope he doesn't. So he'll keep letting us do this from time to time. Because... But no, it, it's it's really cool. It's really it's just mad fun and just all that. And look at all this shit, man. We got to take a you. picture of this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all mine. Well, mostly. Okay. So yeah, um, they have breaded cauliflower. Ooh. They have house salad. No one wants a salad. Which is way better than trailer salad, in my opinion. Ow. Then oh, sorry. Then then there's side salad. 
you know, in case you and your, your main salad decide to see other salads. And there's <laughs> buffalo chicken salad, which I guess is... Why are you reading mutant. the salads and not the good stuff? Hmm? Is salads not good? Okay. You want to know what well, I, I mean, I'm sure night? the salad is good, you but... Wanna, you you know. want to know what I ate last night? The Imperial Burger. Yes, it is black Angus beef and provolone cheese topped with onion rings and horseradish sauce. And I was good. And they, it came with these onion rings that was as big as my head, like for real, I could wear one like a crown. It was great. Oh, and that's Beck. Quick, grab her. Beck. She's like, Beck, just say hi. Hi. Just say hi. Just say hi. She's got the most, yeah, like, we, awesome she, voice yeah, ever in life. Yeah, she has the most awesome voice, like, ever. That's why I'm trying to get her on here. And she won't do it. <laughs> that is Beck. And she is one of the wonderful bartenders and servers here at Imperial. And it's it's awesome. Every she just day. brought us all menus. Yes, she did. Because we're yeah. starving. We're the, fucking hungry. No, she brought us menus to keep us dirty... Bastard people from coming over to the bar. Well, like, well, well mm. let's have, see how we can Ooh, carry this menu up. Dude, okay, okay I, I got uh, it. Okay, no, I no, just ho- saw something. Now, hold on. You realize that I can't buy food, food, because apparently I spoke too soon before, and then the yeoman's whistle went off and, and all that. Oh, so, okay. yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry about that. But okay. I can. Well, I'll, I'll, well, here, I, I just want to talk about something I saw that looks absolutely delicious. Okay. They have a burger called the Stuffed Burger. I was just is, looking okay, yeah, at that. And, and apparently that's what I had last night. Tanya's well, like, she's commenting in the, in the room. She says, no, you didn't. You had a stuffed burger with a side of onion rings. So I'm sorry for false advertising about what I ate. It's, we do have an Imperial Burger. I just didn't have an Imperial Burger. I had a stuffed burger. My burger was stuffed. Which is a black Angus beef loaded. Well, of course it's black. Loaded with your choice but, of cheese. But, I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. With choice of cheese pressed inside the burger. Um, so you still haven't eaten a black chicken yet, have you? Um, no. I'm just saying you talked about it no. a few weeks ago. No, I did. I did. Have you? No. Did you? Okay. Are you gonna buy me one? Shit, I, the struggle is real. I okay, then. Well, I, why not just get real chicken and a uh, black food coloring? Um, first, um. <laughs> first of all, um, two questions. Number one, Phil, why is that a thing? Hold on, that's rhetorical, Crystal. Why the fuck are you trying to get Andrew to buy you black cock? Hold on. That's rhetorical. <laughs> Andrew, why the fuck are you pushing black cock? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. That's rhetorical. Ed, where the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm looking at the damn menu. He's See? trying to get food. Okay, He's... he's, he's, he's He's looking for the black cock He's section doing what's of important. the menu. <laughs> no, Ed is actually looking He's at like the Italian. Ed is looking at the Italian beef sandwich because he likes to suck on Italian beef. Oh, okay. we can't tell that joke anymore. We're just gonna forget about it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's two above side dishes. You know what? I think. Okay, so I'm gonna state a real thing, even though technically business wise, it's not the smartest thing. But well, then you, don't do it. Oh, okay, first of all, okay. if you tell me don't do something. He's you know, going to fucking do it. Not only am I going to do it, but I'm going to do it like 10 or 12, 1,300 times more than I would have done it normal. Okay. Okay. It's like when you tell somebody, you're like, don't look down. What the first fucking place you're going to look? Uh-huh. Down. <laughs> really? To the side. You're like that? Yeah. How much can, trapeze walking have you done? I don't. That's why. Can, can now, I throw something out before you, before, you bust my, before you bust me in the face? If, it, if, it, if it gets sticky, hey, right, I'm all, I'm just going to be ass. <laughs> okay, all I want to say is is that looking at the menu, you know, as we've said many times, the struggle is real. Mm-hmm. But looking at the menu, there is like nothing on here above eight bucks. I know, yeah, like very every, reasonable yeah. prices. Yes, and, everything. And, the, and, and I've seen the sandwiches before because I was here when Ace Freely was here of Guns N' Roses, by the way. Okay, so wait, 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 wait Ace wait, Freely, wait, wait, Guns N' Roses. Wait, 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 really? Wait, wait, wait. No, That's ACDC, bro. No, 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 no. Okay, no, I'm actually, motherfucker, wait, wait. Ace Freely was Kiss. Oh, I'm suck getting, it. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting, oh, sweet hold on, baby. Okay, Jesus. hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Ed gets real mad about his 80s, 90s rock, apparently. He's Clearly. Kiss oh, yeah. was 70s. That's okay. Fair enough. I, I want to see he how. He gets mad about music. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post a post about Motley Crue, but I'm going to spell Crue C R E W and just watch him <laughs> lose his fucking mind. Now, that I probably would do. <laughs> like, That's not how it's done. I'm sorry. Gilby Clark is who I saw it here. I, am, I apologize. The, see? He was okay. also on Rockstar Supernova. Fair enough. So I saw Gilby Clark here. So they've got good acts coming here. Okay, but here's why I'm hating is because apparently you have already been here. You've already done the show. Yes. Here. So you did another show here before you did our show 
Here. Yes. Okay. Bastard status. 100 for you. Phil, you ever been here? No. You ever done a show? No. Have you ever been in this building? Whatever. No. You cool. Crystal, have you done a show here? No. Okay, but you've been in the building? Yes. Okay, you're half bastard status. Ed? Damn. Never been here. Never done a show. Hold here. up. I have only ever been here because of your punk ass. Oh. So eat that I, dick. I'm upset that it was my punk ass. It couldn't just be my ass nah. or, or, for that matter, even my black ass. Nope. It had to be my punk ass. Yeah. That, that's, I'm so yeah. upset that that's the thing. You'll get over it. That's, I love how, as Beck was walking by, she tried to make sure she was as quiet as motherfucking possible. <laughs> <laughs> so <she laughs> did you see the way she looked back? She did. She too. heard that shit. That she looked back. <laughs> hey, Crystal. What? I think she likes you. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah. She is a cutie, isn't she? She is adorable. She is. She's just nice. I, I still nice. want to know how in the hell Andrew over here is confusing Ace Freely with Gilby fucking Clark. Oh, okay. okay. Are we still That's, on that? Yeah, no, no. He's, <gasps> he's still on that. Okay. I'll, I'll, make it, I'll make it real simple. Look, I like music, but I don't know who they're no, There about, you go. Okay? Thank you. Right there. Okay. I was going to make it even simpler than that. I was just going to say, you think we all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you motherfuckers are indistinguishable. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I said that shit. Keep looking at the mirror. <gasps> I'm gonna. Okay. That white menu. Should I, should I get back on, uh, on top? Black on the outside. Did you say get back on top? top no. Topic, Hell no. Topic. Hell no. Topic. Huh. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We're good. So the reason I brought up I am the horrified of... by the image of reverse cowgirl that I just got. What? Move the on. Fuck? Okay. <laughs> the reason I brought up the Battle of Thermopylae which was featured in the movie 300, is yes. because King Leonidas of Sparta was actually 60 years old when he fought and died. Wait, nice. the real Leonidas? The or real Leonidas. the one in the movie was 60? The real Leonidas. Okay, I thought you were saying the one in the movie was 60. Because if so, I'm like, oh man, I'm pissed off. I need to hit Bally's. <laughs> <laughs> so Not Bally's. <laughs> The, is that the, still a thing? Huh? You know, the, look, my work, I, my, I it's suck. not still a thing, which is why that's where he needs to go. Okay, fair enough. Really? Wait, they don't have balance Because we all anymore? know that's not happening. Right. No, it's now Club Fitness. Really? Club Fitness used to be Bally's? No. Was it not? I, a, I don't wait, know. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Was it not a fitness club before? Oh, my God. Moving on. Yes. Moving on. In 2011, a man was stabbed to death. I, by it a, happens. By a rooster. Whoa! What? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! All right, I, I, Allison I feel Chains a cock stabbing joke coming on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset that everybody glossed past the coming on part of that joke. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe we just chose oh. not to comment on it. Oh, that's or silently enjoy it. However, sure. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, I got my eye on you. All right. It is staying on the. On the cock and chicken joke oh, phase. It. Uh, do, it is, I, it are is, you having a week too? Yes. This, I'm having a great week because I have a recording of Andrew saying, staying on the cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Freeze, go fuck yourself, buddy. Yeah, that recording is not as awesome as staying on the cock. Uh huh. It is if legal. it makes you feel better, Andrew, he's also got a recording of him saying the exact same thing. That's true. No, no, no. I had a recording of me saying the same thing, but I maintain my own files and delete shit that makes me look bad. And that's what I do. But anyone listening to the show can get that clip. That's true. Oh, yeah, that is. It bad. is legal to send live chickens through the mail. Whoa. What? Yes. I'm about so to hold go on, buy wait, some chickens. Wait, so that, that it fits it shit's joke that I've been making about my dick, it, it's actually <laughs> real? <laughs> hold the fuck on. I buddy, can't. They, they only need a thumb, they only need like a little thimble to fit are, are, dick are you there, serious? Buddy. Really? A thimble? A thimble. And so when have you seen a Buick sized thimble, motherfucker? <laughs> How about this? Did you know nope. your jaw is strong enough to break all of your teeth, but the brain stops it from happening? Um. I don't know what the fuck to do with the like. I feel some blowjob so jokes coming. We but have then like they all alligator mouths. Yes. Damn. Yeah. Wait. So hold on. To what? Does that mean that meth users are using like performance enhancing drugs? Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. yeah, I went there. No. I went there. Oh, oh okay. You're gonna pity no. the meth users now. You're gonna yeah. do that. Okay. No. We're doing that. All right. Fair no. enough. Okay. Okay. How about this? President Abraham Lincoln's grandfather was also named Abraham Lincoln. He also was shot and killed as well. Was he shot in a theater? No. Oh, okay. Because my next—it's not the same then. Because my next question Doesn't was: count. Was it one of those porno theaters? Oh my god! I'm really upset that 23 people 
just heard me ask if Abraham Lincoln's grandfather was shot in a porno theater. Sweetie, should you be offended? When listening to this show, be prepared Always. for it every time. She says, should I be offended? No, you should not be offended. Now, people that have never heard our show before, yeah, offended as fuck. Yeah. But, yeah, you, you, you've you hung out with us, sweetie. You, you've, you've done the thing, so... You're good. You should not yeah. be offended. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you make it to the second show, it's all on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. If you oh, make it to the end I'm of upset. the first show, it's I'm all on you. That that is, I'm upset that that's pertinent to both our show and most porno shoots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you, if you come to the second casting call, it's on you, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> it's all over you. <laughs> and your mama. Okay, I'm going all to order right. for you. Um, oh, wait, what? I can't talk about fucking somebody's mama? Well, there are MILF videos. Okay, you know what? I'm you can th- talk about fucking your kids' as mama. Oh, and I will at great length. Thank you for and adding mama. Thank coming. you for adding the word mama to Oh, that. If, you yeah. was, if you knew yeah. what went the fuck down last night. Okay, so I don't want to know. I'm going to go order I, I food. Um, uh, does anyone want anything I'm, in particular? I'm, I'm good. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm here's here, here's what we're going to do. Can we can we do, like... You know uh, what? Figure... The fu- Okay, you're done. Wow. You can't even, yeah, that's, that shit came from a dark place. And moving on. <laughs> sorry, light place. <laughs> moving on. Sorry, um, white place. Ooh, damn. Not, she's like, no, it wasn't light. It was just all the way absent of every color possible. No, that's black. No, no, no. That's the absence of light. Not the but absence of color. White is all of the colors. Okay, and apparently we're the ones that keep getting called colored. Okay, so I fucking <laughs> win. I never call you colored. Okay, th- 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 that's right, because you know I whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I'm having slept. All right, adios. Okay. No, wait, th- th- you're leaving? You're leaving? Th- th- Should I order her food? A man. bitch is hungry. She's hungry. Damn. I mean, okay. Bitch, never get between a woman she and a meal. She is so hungry, she called herself a bitch. She's like, I'm a, bitch, a bitch is hungry. Now, on the other hand, if I'd have been like, go ahead, Crystal, I know you're hungry, bitch. Now, if I'd have said, I mean, <laughs> see, if I'd have said that shit, she just there stuck me in the eye. Her, and then, you know, it'd have been bad. Exactly. Okay. Oh, her? by the way. Yes. Just a quick observation. Um, oh, while we were talking about the political shit earlier. Oh, yes. here we go. Oh, did you say, oh, here we go? I like, thought we were over that. How did you know my mother was in porn? Just That's what oh, Sweetie uh, said. Uh, um, wait, hold on. Did she say, how did you know my mother was in porn? Leave my job out of it. I'm making that paper, LMAO. (laughs) Whoa. I love Sweetie. Apparently, so do most of the DVD watching public. Do you want anything? Yes, I want world peace for all. And Okay, and she's gone. I'm mad that I started with world peace. And she was like, yeah, that's not important. I'm out. World so, peace is only going to happen once she gets food. No, I told you how world peace is going to happen, but I told you before, and I'm not going to tell you again. Now, moving on. I love how... Let's go back. Do you remember hearing or reading about the Watts riots? Oh, yeah, I went there. The what? Watts. W-A-T-T-S Watts. No, I'm not familiar with it. Okay, so there is this place out in California, which I could probably specify where it is if I was better at geography. I can't, so we're going to gloss past that. But out in California, near around the Los Angeles area, yeah. back in the 60s, 70s, when like the, the, the civil rights movement was mm-hmm. getting in a half swing, okay, um, like the populace of that particular area just kind of lost their mind and was just like, you know what? We're, we're really sick of being oppressed. We're really sick of this bullshit. We're done. And they cooked the neighborhood. Like, they... they I'm reading on Wikipedia right now. Okay, no, yeah. no. I'm sorry. I, I, I lied. They didn't really cook the neighborhood. They didn't start that way. It, it, it started with stuff like what they did with the lunch counter... Um, the, the, the lunch counter protests and whatnot. Okay. You don't know... Okay, see, I'm... As, as unracist as I really want to be right now, I'm upset that I'm looking at three white people that have no idea what no. the lunch counter... I know what the lunch, lunch counter, counter thing was. I know about the lunch counters. Oh, okay. Especially at Woolworths. Okay. Very That's, well known. All right. Oh, yeah. I yeah. remember That's, that. Okay. Uh, fair enough. See, I don't know if I want to go with a racist joke on this or a fat joke on this. I mean, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's there. But moving on. Damn, did I get a fucking... 
Did you really give me the sideways middle finger? It's not a gun, and you're not in Compton, motherfucker. I understand it when you do it like that, too. Okay? No, he's saying no, this no, to shove you, it in no, sideways. No, you put your fucking fingers down. Okay? You fucking tentacled bastard. You're done. <laughs> Just so you don't understand, in case you wonder why I keep freaking out when Ed gives us the middle finger, it's here's what I want you to do. If you can hear my voice right now, I want you to take your hand, I want you to look at it so that the thumb is facing you like you're going to do like a weird judo chop in front, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. Put the fucking hand right in front of you, okay? Now, I want you to take all of your fingers except the this. middle finger and put it up, all right? Now, at this point, you said all of your you're fingers doing except this right, the middle finger up. You should be giving. You know what, Crystal? That's what you said. That is what you said, Crystal. Freeze. I've been told I speak well. I need you. You're fucking up. I've been told I speak well. I need you to speak silent for just a second. Nope. Okay. And moving on. That's right. Moving on. You've got your thumb in front of you, okay? And you're looking down your hand. You pull all of your fingers down except your middle finger. I, I love how right. everybody's that's with me is doing this even though they can see my finger. Okay. So, now if you're doing this correctly, you should be giving somebody the finger to your left or to your right. Okay? Again, I'm going to I'm going to explain the instructions cuz humans suck and y'all sometimes miss shit. Take your fucking hand out like you're going to judo chop somebody in a fashion that would get you whooped in a bar. Okay? The thumb is facing you. Pull your fingers down except for the middle one. Okay? Now, I want you to take the top of that middle finger, that top knuckle, and I want you to bend it, but keep the rest of the fucking finger straight. Okay? You notice how you can't do that? Well, Ed can do that, apparently, because Ed is a goddamn mutant. All right? Ed is a mutant. His, his, apparently, he is the seed of the love between a Ninja Turtle, a rat, and something else, and just whatever, and some X Men and shit. And now he, oh, and he's still doing it. Okay, that's wonderful. Again, I can't, I can't it, bend it, mine that far. The women love you it. Can't bend your foot. Are you fucking? Si that's no yours. Th no, that's normal. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? When you do all the fingers, <laughs> freeze. The, oh my, hold on, freeze. Hold on. That's your middle crazy. finger's not straight. Wait, that, it's not straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. why are we doing? Okay, this? hold on. Wait. No. Can we move on? First of all, my middle finger is sweetie, not hetero. Sweetie is saying, you yes, hateful yes, motherfucker. Sweetie, sweetie, is. sweetie is saying this is retarded, and I can't really yes, argue with her yes, on that. Yeah, yes, she's. It is. Can we just move you on? You know what? She said, "Fuck it," because she can't do it, and Ed can do it. And not only can he do it with his middle finger, apparently he can do it with all of his fingers. So it's not just enough oh. for one finger to be doing some weird ass fucking thing. Ed's got to be doing some Caucasian fucking tentacle hentai <laughs> shit over here on the first fucking day that we're Imperial making me look bad. No, and you, now you, the next... You did that. Yeah. Wait a minute. And now the next... Ed made you look bad? Um, Crystal? I, I thought it was sure? his that's your haircut. Chris. That's, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm going to need you to be a little more my friend right now. 36 minutes late. I'm going to need you to be a little... Really? That's your haircut, buddy. To, it's okay, Freeze. Did you, say, did you say I got a 36-minute haircut? <laughs> no, I'm saying your hair's, your hair's making you look fucked up, buddy. That, what is wrong with my hair? See, that's not See, natural. I can't do it. I can't the, do it. Hell the fuck on. Wait, Why is that not natural? Hold on. Wait. How can Ed not do the live long and prosper thing, but apparently he can make a fist that he can just go down to the <laughs> riverbank and smack fish out of the water or like fly down from the, and just snatch rats out of the meadow and shit. Yeah. How, the, how the fuck is it that you can make your finger so that you can finger bang somebody around a corner, but you can't do an iconic gesture that's been part of her culture for 60 fucking years? How is that possible? You're a mutant, but you're like a half ass mutant. The worst mutant. kind of mutant. Right. You're like a half. You're a lazy mutant. <laughs> Jesus. Get it together, Ed. Oh, man, uh, sweetie says, I, I'm jealous. I guess masturbation would be much better. If you had if, if you had fingers like Ed, no, no, they would not. You didn't see what I saw, sweetie. Okay, your masturbation's not going to be better if you make your fingers do it's that. It's the right, the perfect angle for the G spot. Look, so sweetie, is there more straight dope? There is. I've been hey. trying to get to it, but okay, All right. fine, straight dope against crooked fingers, fine, whatever. Okay, Go. there was an all-girl band called Rock Bitch. That Whoa, would... stop! <laughs> that should just be the fact right there. We're done. <laughs> oh no, it gets better. Oh, really? It gets, it gets better than Rock Bitch. Uh, you want to bet? Okay, strap on in, motherfuckers. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> All right. There was an all-girl band called Rock Bitch that would throw a golden condom to the audience, and whoever got it, male or female, was taken backstage to have sex with the band members. Oh. 
Wow. Better. Wow. Better. Oh, oh, okay, Better. cool. That's the Herpy Wonka package. Got it. <laughs> wow. I got a golden ticket. <laughs> I don't no, want that, a that's golden the gold, ticket. That's the golden sticket. That's, <laughs> apparent, they oh got God, God a herpes. How would you respond to that? There's only two ways. One way, either the concert you went to, they're nasty motherfuckers, or the other way, you yourself are a nasty motherfucker. You yourself are a nasty motherfucker. Catch wait, wait, did look, you just I throw just, that out there I'm just because I am a nasty motherfucker? Or yes. yes. Okay, that that's too. honest. I, I take that. Well, it's okay. no different than I take that. fucking Still a stripper. Fuck you. Take, no, you're not even allowed to talk anymore, and you're definitely not allowed to do sign language. <laughs> so moving on. Crystal. It, 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 Hi. Hi. It's in your butt. <laughs> Surprise! Well, no, speak- no, it's weirder when you do it. And speaking of putting it in your butt, if oh you my apply- god, Hold the what fuck the fuck, fuck kind of segue was that? Did you have a segue into speaking of putting it in your butt? You're fired from words, motherfucker. I'm done. <laughs> if you apply an electric current to a pickle, it will glow in the dark. What the? Fuck? Okay, hold on, I'll be- Andrew. Oh, okay, I only heard like half Seriously? the words, and all I heard was electric pickle glow in the dark and. <laughs> In now, your butt. now he's laughing like a 12 year old who just witnessed his mom farting. I don't know how to handle What I'm, is happening today? We're going back to the basement next week, okay? <laughs> Apparently, we don't know how to fucking act. I bring you out to a public place and what the fuck? Seriously? All right, I'll repeat it again. Oh, if okay. You- <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't fucked up enough the first time. Eat a dick. Okay. Or a pickle. Enough. If you apply an electric current to a pickle, <laughs> It will glow in the dark. Okay. I'm happier that now that I heard Take the that whole shit to a thing, rave. <laughs> you know that? Uh, hold up. You don't need glow sticks. Hold and up, hold do up. what with it? <laughs> you guys Surprise! Have, you guys I'm have never de- been poor college it's students, have you? What? No. You guys have never been poor college students, have um, you? Yes. I'm a poor college yes. dropout. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm still a poor college student. That's Poor college students generally do that to pickles and hot dogs to actually cook them. Okay, can I ask you a question? Is nope. there like a how-to in like the common area of the college that how teaches you this How many people are shit? cooking pickles, though? Yeah. That's, and Have, if, you've never heard of fried pickles? I yeah. mean, yes, I've heard of fried pickles. Fried. I almost ordered fried pickles. but um, I, 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 It's homemade fried pickles. No, like it's not. I like fried green tomatoes. It's, it's really not. I like that Jessica it's, Tandy. Also, microwave. Oh, she could get it for the hot dog, but I, I actually have a hot dog toaster. So well, she that. Did. it's called your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit me! I am please. so close to you today, Freeze. I will fuck your I world up. I feel close to you too, but I feel like we're drifting apart. Well, I'm saying is maybe Jessica Tandy was down for the BBC with Morgan Freeman. Did oh you say God. down for? Oh wow! And and I'm upset that I thought BBC meant British Broadcasting Company <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> I was like, why would she? Oh. <laughs> what upset me even more was I heard Morgan Freeman's voice after that. Like, yeah, bitch, get busy living or get busy crying. <laughs> oh, my God. Crystal's oh. shaking her head like, I don't understand. I keep coming back every week thinking it's going to get better, but it doesn't. <laughs> you know, I've never been so close to all of these buttons, and I want to push one. Okay. Push a button. Push it. Go ahead. Not that fucking button. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're trying to kill us? <laughs> kind of. Okay, All fair right. enough. <laughs> Barack Obama is the old president because we have that the one guy. That because we have a new president. Yeah. Yes. And, Period. And we should give him respect yes. because it ain't easy being cheesy. Move on. on. <laughs> <laughs> Backhanded Bar- compliment? Barack Obama <laughs> Bow, there's a dress, bitch. was the first president of the United States to ever brew- be black. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm fucking done. I can't. I can't. Pigmentally black. I can't with you people. <sighs> what do you mean by you people? Use your imagination. Okay. He was the first president to ever brew beer in the White House. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, what the fuck did you say? That is. Oh, no, you didn't want to hear. No, right. Hear. Oh, okay. No, you're. Right. He was the first president of the United States to brew beer in the White House. Are you fucking serious? I'm fucking serious. Oh, that is so gangster. Where are you going? <laughs> to smoke. Dude, we got a fucking show to do. Yeah, I know, but normally we get to smoke during it. And well, you had the chance. You gave up that chance. Okay, you know what? Sit I'm your fucking ahead. ass down. Be professional, whore. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me sit down and get in a full position so when I cuss Andrew's ass out, 
Then I am comfortable. Okay. <laughs> okay, because see, Andrew is not a smoker. That's right. Yeah, you don't, you don't smoke cigarettes. You're right. Or anything fun. Mm -hmm. So moving on. Okay. You don't know how nicotine works. You're right. You know what Wikipedia has told you about how nicotine works. Uh -huh. It says, well, the body from a time will occasionally want more of nicotine. Okay, Andrew. Now, Wikipedia now, not, makes it sound cool. I'm going to tell you what it's really like for a smoker. When you smoke as much as me, okay, your, your lungs just give up on oxygen all the fucking together. It's just done. It's just, like, what is this? Fresh air? The fuck is wrong with you? Take your ass outside. And normally, we do our show in my basement. And I've already made my house a no smoking zone. And by no smoking, I mean all the smoking. Like, all the smoking goes on there. Now we're here, and I'm not used to that. I'm stuck behind this board. I'm trying to make sure that, you know, you guys get famous, despite how badly I'm fucking you. And there it is. Uh, don't ever say that about me again, please. Uh, after the shit you said earlier, for real? Seriously? Let's go yeah. smoke your cigarette. No, oh really? I get to smoke it now? No, I, I, I never said you uh, could. Uh, uh, well, uh, hold up, didn't he step out for a cigarette when he went to get a beer earlier? I just, he first, did. first of all, why don't you stop snitching? <laughs> so, okay. Because I'm craving some fucking nicotine, okay, too. Well then, I'll tell you what, Ed, go ahead. Go crave some no, nicotine. No, go no, ahead. no, no, go I'm ahead. good. No, I'm I, curious to see what your cigarettes look like. I think they're like long, and then they just kind of turn <laughs> left real quick. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh a little L-shaped cigarette. Are you fucking cigarette. kidding oh. me right now? Why am I fucking kidding oh, you right now? Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Uh oh! She, she just drink it off your phone. Oh. Fuck yeah, dude! Oh, oh. but it fell Freeze. into the bag of cables. Oh, you fucked up your iPhone. And it's not an iPhone. Yeah, okay. I, I feel like you should be more concerned about this bucket here. Oh, okay. Because I was more concerned about the fact that you're an iPhone user. Why are there so many of these? Oh, so many of the cups. Yeah. Oh, right. You know what? Because last night was rough. <laughs> I need. <laughs> okay, here. I'm gonna you, be sticky. You hand, okay, I, I, I will do some, I'll do some more. Dude, if you don't shut the fuck up and let her dwell on that, <laughs> freeze. What? Did, are you fucking serious, Ed? <laughs> really? We're gonna have to move this to a video series. I can't even fucking believe this. He shows me a cigarette that's bent at the end like his freaky mutant fingers. All right, so I'm gonna do. Oh, are you gonna do the bucket thing? Are you good? Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Um, I'm get it off my foot. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, Sounds like a party. Got everywhere. <laughs> White stuff got all over. Got it. Damn. Okay, man, I am lost. Are, are we still doing the dope? No, we're, we're making, still doing it. I'm trying to. We're making to. jizz jokes, buddy. I'm trying to, and I've got some really good shit here. Um, <laughs> Better than jizz jokes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Illinois enough. and Wisconsin have more bars than grocery stores. What? As we're sitting in a bar in Illinois. That's true. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 wait. So... We had a better chance of doing the show here than a schnooks. Yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I feel like even if we didn't do the show here, we're still not getting into schnooks. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Okay, ready for the next one? Okay, sure. All right. Give it to um, me. Because of its prison system, the United States is the only country in the world where more men are raped than women. Wow. Um, <laughs> because, because that's how it's done, because... <laughs> We're going to make America rape again. <laughs> okay, was that... Was that... Huh? Oh, well, I got crappy DNA. I don't know what the hell happened oh, to that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, do that. Do that, git. That is back. The voice that you hear in the background that's not on there. And now she's going to move so fast. She's like, I'm not. Uh, I, the rest I, of I guess it's Christmas. Oh, I love it. She's looking people in the eyes. She's like, I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm not going to get hurt. This is not fucking happening. So I guess you're going to put on the seat. It's not yeah. happening. Look, she's like, just, I'm just going to sneak We are just away. that demented. I'm yes. just going to sneak away. Look, Beck, if you don't come on and do an interview, we're just going to sit around and do you impressions. And that's going to go way worse. So, come on. Nope, not going to happen. She said, not going to happen. Okay, Coca-Cola was originally green. Wait, what? They yeah. have a new green one out now, too. Yeah. It's, it's Wait, a green so bottle, but liquid in yeah, it's not green. Cola. <laughs> yeah, Coca-Cola was originally green. Well, I can see why they made the marketing choice to go to shit brown. So, there you go. Okay, All right. a 42-year-old Russian... Oh, oh, hold up. If your shit... Is the same color as Coke? You got something seriously wrong with you. Okay, first of all, hold on. If you are like making palate choices based on my fecal matter, something is seriously wrong with you. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and uh, oh, keep hold on. moving. Hold on, I gotta check. Let, let me see. Let me see that basket real quick, man. <laughs> okay, there's like, there's, there's there's like thirteen or fourteen in there, right? Take a picture. Take here, a picture. Here. Take a picture of Ed's food. There you go. Okay. We're taking pictures of Ed's food that you can't see because this is an audio broadcast. 
If you like what you hear and you think you'd like what you see, okay, that go ahead is a and sponsor us. That is a basket full of food for a little bit of money. Yeah. Yes, oh, and thank little, you, Crystal. We assume that's both yours. That's uh, right. I'm sharing. He, but I don't the, know where oh. to put them. Oh, that, here, you, you just give me that. I was trying to help you. I'm not even hungry like that. Go ahead. I need Damn. to go and get. That's what, what, know, what is that green thing that you're eating right there? That's Fried it's a Coca Cola. <laughs> it's a what? I'm sorry. Fried green beans. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that. Okay, how about this? A 42 year old Russian fisherman was brutally attacked by a bear. But then was suddenly saved when the ringtone his grand his granddaughter had installed on his mobile phone went off, and Justin Bieber's baby sent the bear running back to the woods. Hold the fuck on. Short version: A Justin Bieber song prevented a bear attack. Yes, it halted it right there. Okay. Because Justin Bieber screws everybody. Okay, first of all, right now I wish somebody would clip that part of the recording. <coughs> And send it to Justin Bieber with an like an impassioned letter that basically says, "Look, bro, the public has been telling you you suck forever. We've been telling you you're a douche, and up to this point, it's been subjective. That's our opinion, and you don't think so. But the sound of your voice actually made a bear not want to kill a human being. Like you made a bear not want to do bear shit. <laughs> so we're gonna need you to retire." <laughs> Because the bear now, away. Right, because now your suckness is quantifiable. Either that or he needs to start working in a zoo. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, Harambe got shot, and I don't even think Bieber was in that fucking zoo that day, okay? Imagine what happened if he was there. Harambe would probably still be alive. Yeah, he'd Harambe, be, yeah, he he, would. He'd be off in some little he corner. Would. Harambe would. He would He would get older, meet a woman, and have a baby, baby, oh, baby. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> I can never do that enough. Okay. Can I go have my cigarette now? Yes, you can. Did yes. you have your cigarette? No. You didn't have your No, I got oh. food. Quit the, being such a little bitch okay. there, Freeze. This, okay. Go, 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 go. All right, go. fine. Go. I'll go. run to the gym and bulk up, and I'll be a big bitch. Fuck you. Okay. MC Hammer once challenged Michael Jackson to a dance-off. Stop it. Yes. I actually vaguely remember that. Wait. MC Hammer challenged James Brown. Michael Jackson. No, James Brown. Michael Jackson. No, no, no. James Brown. Nobody's stupid enough to challenge <laughs> Michael Jackson <laughs> to a fucking dance-off. But can you really challenge James Brown to a dance-off? I would at least try. He had some of the quickest feet I ever saw. The, I would rather dance with, dance against James Brown than Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson actually came out with the moonwalk. Yes. I'm aware of that. I'm, I'm upset that Ed brought that to the table. Like... We lived in just butt fuck France or something. Had never heard of Michael Jackson. He's like, yeah, he was cool. He was a he was a black guy. Then he was a white guy, and he walked backwards, and we liked it. He was born a black man. He died a white woman. Oh, that is so rough. Wow. You know what though? I like women, so, white women. So really, not a bad way to go. Is that too much? Does anybody too want? Much? Okay. It, wait, wait. It's our show, so it's not too much. By the way, oh, is that a taco? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> could, you, could, you me, could you grab me a taco? There? Can I get the pink one Please. right there? Yeah. No, Thank you me. can't have a pink okay. taco. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we, right. Apparently, neither can you, motherfucker. We've, we've got proof. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, the best-selling DVD of all time is Pixar's Finding Nemo. Really? Yes. Hmm. And of all the Pixar movies, it's the one I like the least. Aw, just keep swimming. Hmm. Diana says, actually, some kids came up with the moonwalk. Michael Jackson stole it. Hey, Ed. Mm. No, thank you. So there's food being passed around here. Delicious In food. In case you can't hear us crunching. Yeah. We're just, I'm being rude as fuck. Yeah, we're just like, we're, we're some seriously un. You know what? I was about to eat food. Like, I was supposed no, to pass good. your food to Ed. No, he said he's I'm good. good. Oh. Thank you. Oh, okay. Green beans? Mm. Mm. I'm mad that that's making me want to eat vegetables. <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really upset. And where, and where are we eating? We're eating. Imperial Pub and Club. Imperial Pub and Club. Yeah. With the best, least expensive food in the world. Hells yeah. Come on down. Get so, some good food. Say hi. Damn good barbecue. Yeah. Get some food. If you, get here. The, if you get here soon enough, you, we'll be here. Yeah. And if you get here a little later than that, I'll be here. That's true. How about this? Canada is the home to the suicide capital of the world. Whoa. Yes, Christine. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. We're going to have to edit those because everybody can't talk because the mouths are full and shit. 
We are a very unprofessional fucking Is lot. it Niagara Falls? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I just know it's home to it. It makes sense, though. Okay, so wait. It makes sense. Who really wants to be a Canadian? <laughs> oh my God! Um, Don't want to be a Canadian. You, yeah, you'd be. Idiot. Hey, you'd be surprised. The trend just picked up last couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Very true. Thank you. How about this? Every seven hours, a rhino was killed in South Africa. So, a nature reserve in Kruger hired twenty-six jobless women. Phil gave them combat and tracking training and started the world's first all-female patrol. The Black Mambas Patrol, which is what they're called, un- are, are unarmed to protect the wild rhinos from the poachers. Shut up, Freeze. Okay. There's, um, okay. okay. Leave okay. it alone. Okay. All right. All right. All right. An unarmed group going up against Man, the rhinos armed group. are some bitches, man. No, no. I, I, I'm talking oh, okay. poachers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Poachers are some bitches, too. Yeah. Poachers but them are rhinos, bitches. man. They need to stand but, up for themselves. Seriously, unarmed group of women yes. going up against an armed group of poachers. Makes a whole lot of fucking sense. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. Okay. I'm not going to go there. That's, the Matrix no. is, getting, is getting close to being real. Researchers um, at Boston University are working on technology that will be able to download skills directly to your brain. Oh, I okay, see, wait. that sucks. I don't want that part of the Matrix. I, I thought Lawrence Fishburne was going to show up and offer me drugs. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, Jesus. no that would be sweet. Mm. How about this? Raccoons are actually very smart. They can open complex locks in under 10 tries and can still repeat the process if the locks are rearranged or turned upside down. They also remember solutions to problems for up to three years. Okay. Hmm. Well, what happens after that third year mark? They just... They just forget they it, and they figure it out after ten more tries. I feel like raccoons have a head of the curve. Yeah. With, with, oh, man. Any of you ever get brain freeze? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've given brain Crystal, freeze. <laughs> Crystal just put a big old piece of food in her mouth, and she's looking at me like, yep, mm-hmm. yep, mm-hmm. I have. Mm-hmm. All right, here's, yep. <laughs> really? Yeah. Seriously? Yep. You're just going to just point at me like that, huh? Okay. You're just going to be like, yep, that motherfucker makes my brain stop working. <laughs> Here is a trick to push past the brain freeze. If you push your tongue against the roof push of your down. mouth. What? Push him down. Well, everybody pushing freeze down. He's used to that. Um, really? How often do you think I get bullied, motherfucker? I'm grown. This ain't high school. It's you just think the, people it's just, just come by and knock books out of my no, hand? it's like, just the man keeping nerd. you down. It's the man keeping you down. This is, oh, the man. The man. The man. So if you push your tongue against the roof of your mouth while experiencing brain freeze, that'll help cure you of it. Yep, yeah, heard that. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Okay. Let me ask you a question, uh, though. Yeah? How many people actually remember to do that during a brain freeze? Because if you ever had a brain freeze... Oh, I'm upset that you said what I was thinking. And no one heard it. I didn't the, hear it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to gloss past it. <laughs> you can replay it. You're done. Oh, okay. Uh, vanilla flavoring. Does anybody cook with vanilla flavoring? Oh, yes. All yes. The time. All the I did time. last night. You Damn last it. Night? <laughs> what? She's white as fuck. Yes, I cook with vanilla extract. Well, vanilla flavoring is actually sometimes made with the urine of beavers. Cool. Okay. I will Beaver piss cook. tastes good. That's what I'm saying. Um, no, she can stay a little longer in the bathroom before she comes out. Fuck that. <laughs> also, oh my shave God, that, that shit. beaver piss. <laughs> <laughs> that beaver, though. All right. <laughs> Now, scientists have learned a lot about dinosaurs over the past couple hundred years. Well, they should have. They've been dead a long motherfucking time. However, they have no idea how dinosaurs made it. Okay, so apparently they don't know how dicks and pussies work. Moving on. Asexual. Um, bisexual. Your turn. C-sexual. <laughs> I, I do Get mo- that D! <laughs> that, that, that would be Ed. <laughs> All right. Ed's 3D sexual. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> last, two hits of, last two hits of dope. A man named Ronald McDonald robbed a Wendy's in 2005. <laughs> he was repping his set. <laughs> He's like, it's real out here. And last but not least. Freckle, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. Okay. Pornhub uh-uh. planted. <laughs> oh. Ed? Wow. Pay attention. Oh, he already knows this. Mm-hmm. Before you even say it, he already knows. It's okay. like I've seen it. I got the beta update. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pornhub planted 15,470 trees, or 473 trees, in honor of their Pornhub Gives America Wood 
environmental campaign. Pornhub just fucked up my joke. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Grass is Straight Dope. Awesome. 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 Now, Ed, do you still have ravioli? Yes. Can I have one? Yes. Damn. Everybody's just like chumming the fuck down over here. Food, motherfucker. Almost good ass imperial food. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you what. Look at that. Literally. Wow, Phil. The, Thank you. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh people, my God. That is people so good. Are, the, oh, oh my God. That that's, is so good. that's gonna make editing like an asshole just gold. Mm. Seriously, that's one of the best raviolis I've ever had. Mm. We're about to find out. That's. Did you say dicks? No, I said raviolis. No, I think you said dicks. <clears throat> no, I did not say that. <laughs> when I get done editing and this, you will free. be saying dicks. <laughs> that's pretty good. Huh? What? Oh my god Seriously? You good? None for you You alright? No soup for you Okay I don't even understand What the fuck you just said But alright He said no soup for you Motherfucker Listen You sure he didn't say dicks? Yes Okay <laughs> What's your obsession With dicks today? He's not getting enough He likes sucking them That's oh, for sure Oh Phil Really? I just told you earlier I expect better of you Motherfucker <laughs> I just Phil's like Just fuck it I'm just I, Play is gonna play Whatever <laughs> Eat a dick, motherfucker. Maybe you That's should. That's your job. How is it my job? Maybe it'll f- you'll feel better. Really? Maybe it's not a job. Maybe it's an adventure. No, okay. So, hey, listeners, if anyone wants to uh, donate dicks to Freeze. Okay, whoa, 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 know, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, meet us stop. at Imperial Pub and Club in Granite City. I think we can yeah. uh, start 14, a GoFundMe 14, campaign. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. Or a GoFuckMe campaign. Yeah, my friends are really awesome. My friends just gave yes, everyone on the internet a reason to just come and <laughs> and come, and, 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 come. And, and wow seriously <laughs> oh my god you're all are 12 you know what I'm just gonna sit back and I'm just gonna see what happens all well, right hold cool. on. Be- before we go any further to the next segment I just want to thank some people again yes since we, we always do, do it at the beginning in the middle but we never do it in the middle are we at the beginning the <laughs> I do it in the middle <laughs> I figured you do it in the middle I, uh, d- stuck I mean, in the that's... middle with you scissors like the dickens Mindy Pluma at All-Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. If you need a new or used vehicle, give her a call, 314-288-5393. She will treat you like an all-star. Thank you so much, Mindy, for for sponsoring us and uh, and for keeping this show on the air somehow. And, um, you know, folks. for having an open mind. (laughs) Having a really open mind. The most open mind. Like, so open, it's like Madonna's vagina. Oh my um, God! Oh, like a that is, not lately. <laughs> <laughs> Hallway. Uh, oh wow! Hot dog? No, 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 no! I got one for that. Wind she channel. knocked down the walls of her vagina. It's an open floor plan now. <laughs> she has a studio vagina. There we go. <laughs> also, thank Freeze from Zero Degree Entertainment at seven three two four seven four seventy three ninety three. If you need, if you want to get married. Or if you need him to DJ that that wedding afterwards, give him a call. He will take care of you. That's right. The Last guy that just got done talking about the wretched ass vagina won't be there for the day you take your love as your own. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the Jeffrey Shepard from the AV Lab. He does all sorts of audio and visual work, and he will make it look beautiful. Three one four seven two two eight five two two. Most important, if you take if you use, well, if, if you hear about any of these sponsors, if you go and visit them including Imperial Pub and Club in Granite City, let them know that you heard about them from it is what it is. Yes. Even yes. if you're ashamed by it. Like, if you show up at Imperial and you're like, hey, I heard on this show where these people was, like, talking about just anything that came to their mind. <laughs> Guess what you'll get? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, don't, we don't have a rewards program, per se, just yet. We would sure like, we do. It's but you'll have us. a good time. We are yeah. Reward. Because you know what? There you go. Because you know what? Because as fucked up as we are, we are a pretty awesome little show. I like it. I mean, I normally don't suck my own dick about shit like this, but I think yeah, we do. No, I really don't. But I'm working on it. I'm almost there. Now, um, I think that we we do good, and we've done big things and good things. And you know what? That shit's awesome. And I want to thank you all for doing it with me. Thank you for doing it with me, guys. You're welcome. Thank cool. you. I'm going to delete I that. I kind of didn't have a choice. <laughs> just, that, just that part of the recording. I'm, I'm sorry, guys and girls. Thank you for doing it with me. Doing okay. it and doing it and doing it well. Stop. Okay, if LL Cool J heard you do that, he would punch you in the stomach. <laughs> and the throat. 
Okay. What but, and the mangina. Yes. What shall we talk about next? We Wait, shall talk about the first. Is someone going to eat any more of these fucking green beans? I've never. I had guess one. I'll have some. You should. You should I'll try. I'll have some. Okay. Did you not? Did you I, not have any? I'm not a big green bean fan unless they're like. You got to get. Can. You got to get some of that. Okay. You got to get right, get get some of that green I'll bean up in you. Get some of that. Okay, so Ed, you got fresh new history. Yeah, I got a few stories. Okay, cool. You're going to pass your phone around since we don't have a screen to cast to? Yep. Okay. This first one I'm taking, though. Fair enough. Okay. It's, it's, it's one that Why Phil sent to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fucking good. See, even a non-green bean eater can become a fan of green beans at Imperial Pub and Club. <laughs> I love I love how his world came to a screeching halt. He's just like, no, this green bean is like. That's the shit. I want some more. There you go. How about Damn. it? Damn. Right. No. Sweetie it? says, now I'm hungry. Well, we gave you the address. Come on down, sweetie. So you're going to do the story that I sent you over the week? Yes. Oh, Diana oh, okay. says oh, here we go. to bring her back some tacos, Phil. Yep, I saw working on it. Doesn't she have one of her own? Hey. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about another man's wife's taco. Freeze, freeze. What if I was really Freeze. talking about the taco? Freeze. I just got one thing to say to you. What? First. <laughs> did you? <laughs> what did you? What? <laughs> e- okay. Fresh new history. Do it. Wait a minute. Oh, damn it. No. Uh, no fuck you. I just don't oh, fuck you. <laughs> Wait and a fuck minute. fuck you for getting it. <laughs> I got it too. I meant the joke. New history, you bastard. Do you want to know go. something Wait a really minute. funny? Hold, you you want to know something really funny? Is that I made the phone call to freeze right after. Oh my god. Oh, right. I so. need to know why Sweetie's breaking up with me. Um, <clears throat> she's because you're hanging out with us. Yeah. She you, says I'm smothering her. I've not smothered her yet. My titties have been right here the whole time. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. About that. Oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, did yeah, you? Yeah, I just shut the fuck up. I wasn't gonna say shit. I just shut the fuck up. I just wanted you to know that I knew. Okay. You All knew right? what? Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah. Fresh new history, please, please, before people get snitched on. All right. Hey, first Tanya. up. Quick thinking, wait, mom. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Okay. Apparently the bus wasn't flying by fast enough when Crystal threw Tanya under it. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. We're not doing fresh new history anymore. We're just going to talk about titties, ladies and gentlemen. Strap the fuck no, in. No, 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 no. Shut no, up and let him do t- fresh new history. Rock this one's really good. Yes. <laughs> no, I want to hear about Tanya's titties. I'm right. No, okay. no, you have, got, hold the fuck you have got to You hear just this told me, don't talk about another man's taco. <laughs> um, Actually, that was me, and I said, don't talk about another man's wife's taco. Oh, okay. My bad. I'm not talking so, about a taco. Seriously. If another man has a taco, fresh new you got history. History. You have got to hear this article. This history is no longer fresh. Quick thinking mom saves family's life by oh, giving I gunmen saw, a blowjob. Yeah, I saw this. Seriously? Yep, yep, yep. I saw that article. Yes. <laughs> by the way, Tanya yes. posted bow chicken uh-huh. wow wow. Uh-huh. Way to go, mom. She's like, I gotta save the family. I'm gonna go ahead and get this dick in the mouth. Let's just go ahead and do it. Fuck it. Boom. Read it. He was armed and dangerous, but so is my mouth. <laughs> Damn, she talking shit like that, huh? <laughs> Jennifer Bale or er, I'm sorry. Yes. Jennifer Bale is a hero to her family of four after doing the unthinkable to save her, their life. Hold on. Wait, did you say the unthinkable? Because I think about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a Texas woman. Uh, a Texas woman is a hero to her, uh, her family of four after giving a robber head long enough to distract him so that her husband could hit him in the back of the head with a chair while the children escaped. I'm donkey punch. The I'm ultimate donkey that punch. The news article referred to it as giving him head. <laughs> not not performing fellatio. a sexual act. Not giving fellatio. Not saving oral sex. Not saving the family no, with it the was giving power of tonsils. Just <laughs> saving private for saving Ryan's privacy. Oh, see. Oh, no, no, no. To say I do anything for my children would be an understatement at this point. <laughs> Plus, he wasn't a minute man, so it was a lot of work. Oh, oh, hell no. Okay, hold on, wait. So now I have to go back and revisit that armed and dangerous comment. <laughs> She's like, he was armed and dangerous, but so was my mouth. Okay, well, then you should have made him a minute man. If he was a ninja like that, you should have cut that time down. Right. J- Jennifer's husband, Raymond, only had one thing to say about the ordeal. I'm a cuckold. 
She's never given me head like that, but we will talk about that later. Yes. Oh, hell no. Oh, really? For now, He's I'm make just that glad. An issue after a, a hostage situation? <laughs> For now, I'm just glad our children are safe. She saves the family's life by sucking a dick, and then he's still going to be a bitch about it? Like, he's going to be like, look, I'm. You ever suck my dick like that? Do I have to break in and hold everybody hostage? Fucking get you to do that to me? I mean, maybe. I'm, I'm, I, I could see I'm, Freeze doing that, too. It, uh, Suck in a robber's dick. I'm, oh, <laughs> Andrew. Well, I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. I heard you're pretty good at it. No, it, what, second, it, wait, where did, you, where did you hear that? Tanya. Okay, Tanya, my wife, Andrew just insinuated you had a dick. So there's that. And we'll be back at the house next week. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then the week after that, join the four of us as we mourn the loss of, <laughs> as we mourn the loss of Andrew. <laughs> Oh. oh, I love it. Okay, more history. Do it. Are you seriously doing the... Okay. He's used to looking through his 3D glasses. I understand. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. What the fuck? Man arrested after demanding that McDonald's workers turn off Christian music. Okay. Hmm. Angered that Christian music was being played inside of McDonald's, a Florida man cursed at employees and other patrons and demanded that they turn it off and play Muslim and Hindu music, according to cops who arrested the customer. Joseph Allen, age 46, walked into the McDonald's around 10.20 a.m. Tuesday and created a threat to the safety of others. I'm going to stop you there. He walked into McDonald's, which has been killing people and making people fat for years, and they're going to charge him there. As a threat to the safety of others. So I feel like that's a double standard. Alan, cops say, began cursing at the customers and employees due to the Christian music being played over the speakers in the fast food restaurant seen below. The Christian music to which Alan referred to was apparently Christmas tunes. Oh. Yeah. He apparently appeared intoxicated, approached McDonald's employees in an aggressive manner, leaving the employees in fear for their safety. Police responding to 911 confronted Alan who was still reportedly admitted to cursing at McDonald's workers and customers and was intoxicated. A search of Allen turned up a small bag of methamphetamine in a pants pocket. Seen above, Allen was booked into the county jail in disorderly conduct Didn't see that and narcotic... Was, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I really thought it was just alcohol, too. Like, when they introduced that, I was like, whoa, that's... He, he went hard. Oh, and they showed the McDonald's. I'm really upset that they show that. Also, that, that, that guy's a douchebag because McDonald's, like each one, doesn't control the music that's played there. There you go. They don't? There, yeah, there you go. No, Here it's you go. all on satellite. Yeah, so since you get to do Grass is Straight Dope, apparently I get to do, like, Freezes by Crack. So here we are. Um, the people... What? Oh, I'm really upset that there's a recording. I record- Freezes make ice cream. Ice I'm, I'm really upset that there's a recording that says Freezes by Crack. Yeah, twice. Shit. <laughs> all right, moving on. Oh, and by the way, fuck you. I assume and, you're done with these? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay so, yeah. Move, yeah, McDonald's doesn't pick the music that's played in each restaurant. They, there's one left. You Three. Hurt. I'm, I'm going to need you to eat those. I can't eat the last three. Okay, I'm going to eat the last three. Okay. Or two, or whatever. So, there you go. Um, yeah, they don't pick the music that's played there. It's done by, like, a central company corporate thing, and even the owner-op stores have to submit to that because it's part of the image thing. The music is selected last, last one there. Yeah, and pointed out. There's two. Okay, I felt like there was... Okay, fair enough. Move on. All right, Andrew? No? Okay. <laughs> He's like, Andrew gets a read one. Would-be car thief leaves ID inside vehicle he tried to steal. Uh-huh. You often hear of dumb criminals whose mistakes lead to their arrest. Well, that classic tale hits close to home for one Metro car owner who said a would-be car thief left a piece of evidence behind that made it pretty easy to identify. Him. Please tell me that was in Granite City, Illinois. No, it's close, though. Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, shit. Yeah, close enough. The man left his ID in the car. Um, <laughs> Fox, uh, Fox 4 Sean McDowell spoke to the car owner who can't believe this mistake. Quote, it's a piece of crap. I bought it for $300, and I put like a couple hundred worth of work into it. And the guy is standing there, and he says, I'm on drugs, so. Oh, what? okay. That was his opener? Uh-huh. Wow. When two strangers asked Lewis for a ride on Christmas night, she erred on the safe side and said no. It wasn't until the next day she'd made the discovery. Lewis said she found that same guy's ID on the floorboards of her super sweet 1985 Oldsmobile. Quote, I super looked... Super sweet. Super sweet. I'm mad you didn't do it. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. There you go. Uh, I looked down and I saw a wallet on the ground. 
She figures the guy must have followed her on foot as she and her friend drove away. Quote, it was an ID with a picture matching the guy that I saw the night before. It was absolutely the guy. Lewis said she parked the car on the street after spending Christmas evening at the movies. On Monday morning, she found the ignition switch on her steering column had been broken off. I think that they were mad that I didn't give them a ride, so they were just like, well, just let me get my own ride. And the ID <laughs> belongs to a man who lives in Independence. Um, Toby Brock, Lewis's boyfriend, says it's stunning the man would be so sloppy. Quote, he's a pretty dumb criminal there. It's such a hilarious, uh, hilarious classic stupid criminal story. Felt like something out of a movie. When I found the wallet, I was literally looking around like, am I being punked? Oh, wow. <laughs> she said she stopped short of calling the guy for fear that he'd make more trouble for her. Besides, she got her car back. She said she plans on driving the wagon until it can't go anymore. Lewis said police can't do much to help her since nothing was actually stolen from the car. <laughs> wow. So, that, that's it? She just asked the fuck out? She, she's just done like that? I guess so. Okay, that sucks. Mm. That, that's bad for her. The reason I asked if that happened here is because I actually know someone that that happened to. They went out and started heating up their car. Uh-huh. And somebody else came by and I guess decided it was just warm enough because they went on and took it <laughs> and rolled the fuck you out. You got something for, uh, for Crystal to read? Yes, yeah. last you keep, you keep, one. You keep looking at her. Here we go. It, well, it doesn't have anything to do with I that. I mean, it's because I'm cute. I was paying you a compliment. Thanks, but I was also <laughs> paying myself a compliment. Total so. dicks. Eat them. Are you sure? Fugitive reality competition haunted takes aim at CBS. Wait, wait, wait. Read that again. Fugitive reality competition takes aim at CBS. It's called Hunted. Or Haunted. Fuck you. No, it's, it's called Hunted. Oh, it is. <gasps> you know what? <gasps> yeah, I'm looking forward to watching it uh, today. <clears throat> yeah. I was looking forward to it. Fugitive reality competition Hunted <laughs> takes it rhymes like aim hunted. at CBS. Nothing rhymes like cunt. <laughs> Now bad guys can add CBS to the vast resources of information already on the internet about how to evade the law. Or <laughs> can they? Hunted is a new adrenaline-fueled reality competition de- debuting Sunday after the AFC ca- championship game that pits 18 contestants against an army of expert human hunters. The fuck? <laughs> you said expert human hunters? <laughs> expert human hunters with backgrounds in the FBI, CIA, NSA, U.S. Marshals, and numerous, spelled incorrectly. They can't call them like apprehensive specialists agencies or known or only by hunters. their letters to keep Vanna White busy for a decade. Oh my God. On each episode, they try to track the contestants who attempt to evade capture within a 100,000 square mile zone that encompasses all of Georgia and South Carolina along with northern Florida and eastern Alabama. The series moves on Wednesday, moves to Wednesdays on Wednesday with a special two-hour episode at 8 p.m., so basically like the Hunger Games. <laughs> to catch their prey, the hunters get to use the latest in crime-busting technology and, of course, rely on old-fashioned detective work. Some of it may be informative for real criminals, admits one of the show's stars, Lenny DePaul, former commander, U.S. Marshal Service. But good luck trying to put the info to use in real-life situations, he adds. The bad guys could probably attempt to utilize or leverage some of the tricks we use, says DePaul. But today, you can just go on the internet and pretty much find out anything. It's one thing to know something. Applying applying it is a whole different ballgame. DePaul says movies and TV shows like NCIS have already made it clear to most real-world fugitives that law enforcement will be investigating their cell phone records. Web history and social media posts. The hunters can also rely on air support, dogs, high-tech gizmos, and up-to-the-minute intelligence from a command center overseen by Robert W. Clark, a former senior FBI official, Teresa Payton, a former White House chief and information officer, and DePaul. The fuck is happening right now? Um, (coughs) Englishing is hard? We don't give up. (laughs) What? I said Englishing is hard? No, I'm was know, not no, talking I, about that, you ass. She's was talking just, about the background noise. I was talking about the writing. I thought the writing was bad. <laughs> yeah, I that's also it. fucked up. But <laughs> I wasn't commenting on your reading. I was commenting on the writing. We don't give up trade secrets, says DePaul. If you're on the run, you can guess what we're looking at. Maybe license plates or some camera somewhere on the corner of some street. The public isn't stupid. They know what's out there. Criminals, oh yeah, the public is very stupid, dude. Yeah, so <laughs> they still know what's out there. Yeah, criminals <laughs> also know, and while they try and stay ahead of the curve, but we, law enforcement, 
are so far out in front of the curve, it's not even funny. That's also a lie. People's behavior also changes when people are fugitive, says DePaul, and they get sloppy. When it comes down to it, when someone is on the run, human instincts turn into animal instincts, and that is a game changer. With a quarter of a million dollars on the line, it better be. Wow. But no. Also, what the fuck? Correct. Like human that's hunters? I, most dangerous game that's, in real life. So that's it. I wonder if they'll let Jean-Claude Van Damme be in the remake. Remember that? The movie where he was hunted by, the, by Lance Hendrickson. You've never seen that. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around this game show. That's because that's what it is, right? It's a game show. Okay, here's the it, problem. Yeah, they, there was either CBS or another broadcast company did something very similar, except that they only gave them like a like a two hour or three hour like head start. Oh, that's shitty. It was a terrible show. It was gone after a sing- it was gone after the for, after its run, just like a lot of CBS game shows because most of them suck. This one it will probably follow suit. It will probably be just as shitty. I think Free is trying to show us something. No, no, I'm trying to show her something. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to talk oh, about next? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to give that back because you, 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 you look. Oh, yeah. and that is fresh new history. Okay. I love that. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you, Ed. I'm still trying Checking to wrap my head off, around this that. game show. Like, okay, so again, it's, they've got 100,000 square miles. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so again, Hunger Games. Like, do they, you're, What I want to know do is. Do they get to drive? How do the state governments feel? Oh, we elected Trump. Because it, it literally. No longer matters. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's crossing over uh, Georgia, State South borders. Carolina, Florida, and Alabama. So four states. Okay. Well, I mean, apparently it's popular. I'm upset that. That is insane that that's a thing. I mean, have you. Okay. I'm, I just, I can't. There's there's nothing well, else that will that, that will surprise me or shock me. From this moment, the moment I turned on the TV, and instead of businessman gets caught in another money financial scandal, as soon as I saw inauguration of Donald Trump in words, and then there was actually like a picture of Donald Trump on TV, and it like wasn't a meme, I I, I knew that we'd lost. The world is over. Who's we? Americans. Okay. Yeah, all the, all the Americans. Everybody in the club getting Everybody. tipsy. Everybody. Phil, you remember the episode of uh, Doctor Who? The one, with, the one with the game shows on that space station? Boots and pants. Boots and pants. Boots. Boot. Yeah. The weakest link. Okay. Where they get uh, zapped. Okay. <laughs> Wait, like electrocuted? Um, disintegrated. Oh. We're doing that now? That was a part of a sci-fi show but yes oh okay i thought you were like talk okay i thought you were talking about a show that really existed and i'm sitting here like what the well, fuck <laughs> the weakest link was a show that does actually or did actually exist you know i knew but about the weakest link this um this particular take of the show was if you got uh if you were voted the weakest link you were disintegrated i fuck wow yeah damn no chance to come back in at the end of the season. Huh? You're like going to die. Crowd favorite. <laughs> Damn. You're going to die. What, why am I going to die? Okay, well, brace yourself. So are you. <laughs> cool. Okay, fair enough. What are we going to talk about now? Keep fucking with me. I'm going to step up your timetable, motherfucker. All right, moving up. Yeah. No, we're not done. Are we done, done? Are we? I don't know. Are we doing balls and sticks or bats? And <laughs> <laughs> are you doing balls and sticks, Andrew? <laughs> No, never. Because I feel like maybe you were asking I'm permission just, I'm just gonna let him talk to do balls and sticks. The balls and sticks. I can't. I'm fucking done. <laughs> it's gone too far. It's gone I too ban- far? I abandoned the show. I have nothing to do with it. He's anymore. abandoning the show. <laughs> Our fearless leader. Okay. The, the Baseball Hall of Fame inducted three new members to its hallowed halls. Tim Rock Reigns, Ivan Rodriguez, or Ivan Rodriguez, and Jeff Bagwell. Narrowly missing, narrowly missing admission to the Hall of Fame were former all-time saves leader Trevor Hoffman and one of the best bad pitch hitters of all time, Vladimir Guerrero. The players missed, uh, missed getting in by 5 and 15 votes respectively. I feel pretty certain that they'll be in next year. 
Former Cub and Cardinal closer and former all-time saves leader Lee Smith didn't get enough votes to get into the Hall of Fame on his 15th try, and so he is now officially out of the, of the possibility. You get up to 15 years. And then wow. You're done. I mean, he was the all-time saves leader until Trevor Hoffman took it from him, and, and then Mariano Rivera took it from him. But uh, he was a really good closer. Yeah. Um, almost won an MVP with the Cardinals and almost won a Cy Young with the Cardinals. So pretty damn good. Uh, Jake Allen was told by the Blues to keep his goal-allowing ass home during the current road trip. Yep. To hopefully clear his mind and get his shit together. Phoenix Copley was brought up from the AHL Chicago Wolves to replace him, and he started the game last night. And, well, I guess it'd be two nights ago now, but it's like fucking watching Groundhog Day, man. Yeah, it, it was... Now, I didn't see the game against Winnipeg, but I saw the final score was 5-3. to three. Right. And, yeah, it's over and over and over again. Yeah, we we need some solid goaltending. Yep. The offense has actually done pretty well over the past three games, scoring 10, go- 10 goals total. Yeah. You know, but if you score typically – if last year's team, if you had scored three or four goals, you're almost guaranteed to win. Yeah. I think we're still more offensive. This year, yes, we are. But the defense and goaltending has allowed 18 goals in that same time span, and it's getting to the point where I don't know if the Blues are even going to make the playoffs. Now, the Blues have only won three out of their last nine games and have 35 games left in the season to turn it around. Today is the AFC-NFC Championship Sunday to determine who will go to Super Bowl Lee. Oh. So Lee. Super Bowl Lee. Oh. Oh, okay. L-I. Yeah, That's yeah. 51. Okay, see. It's Greek letters. Yeah, I actually know a girl yes, that spells her I name L-I. Lee? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know one too. Yeah. Yes. That's most popular dancer in the club. Yes, it is. Yes. In- and we're not talking Chun Li either. Uh, well, I mean, you're not talking Chun Li. Have you seen the yeah. thighs on that chick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that too much? <laughs> you know, at the end, every time she won, I always thought she was saying, <laughs> get bent. That's, you know what? Yes. Me too. I think every. You know what? I don't think any teenage boy cared what she said, ever. They just wanted to see her naked. They just wanted to see if that little thing was going to come up even further. You know, it was like a dress, but not a dress. Oh, yeah. Like it didn't have sides. Yep. She was just basically wearing the lady loincloth. She was my favorite yes. player. I always played Chun Li is fucking awesome. Yeah. All right. So in the NFC, you have two top flight quarterbacks going at it with Aaron, Mr. Discount Double Check Rogers, <laughs> and his Packers going to Atlanta to, fee- to face Matty Ice, Matt Ryan, and oh, his Atlanta Falcons. Why do they call him Mr. Discount? Discount Double Check? Oh, okay. I was just asking. Because Aaron Rodgers is the spokesperson for State Farm with the Discount Double Check. Oh, okay. You know I don't watch TV, right? I don't know. You don't watch TV? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Like, no. You're a fucking loser. Um, okay. No, I just, I hate politics. Moving on. <laughs> Fair enough. In the AFC, you have the two best overall teams in football with Ben Roethlisberger and his Pittsburgh Steelers going to New England to face Tom Brady and the Cheetatriots. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, let's just put it out there. That reminds me of a joke I want to tell you later. Okay, why don't you tell me now? Okay, well, I was just going to say... Um, if if you'd like to talk to your lady about maybe getting some you know relief in the lower regions, instead of saying something offensive like "Hey baby, why don't you drain these nuts?" You could just say "Hey baby, could you Tom Brady my balls?" I'm gonna let you dwell on that. I feel dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dirty. I feel okay. like I need. To, I feel like I need to go take a shower. I'm fucking done with you. You're fired off words. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need to go take a shower. All right, here's my prediction. Atlanta and Matty Ice are finally going to break through the Super Bowl for the first time since the Dirty Bird Falcons from the 1998 season. <laughs> That's what they were called. The, they used to do this dance when they would score a touchdown. Jamal Anderson oh. used to do this thing called the Dirty Bird. Oh, yeah. I've seen people do dances and get called Dirty Bird. I understand. I totally get you it. You nasty bastard. Yes, all day, all night. Can you night. say that, Crystal? Oh. You nasty bastard. It, 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 hey, Crystal, don't play. Don't, don't you play with me. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. They'll face the New England Cheetatriots in the Super Bowl. You nasty bastard. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> really? And yeah. Okay. Really. And I'm 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 thinking I'm rooting for the Falcons because I can't I can't ever root for the Cheetatriots. Oh, wow. Well, okay. And speaking of that, the NFC title game is starting to play right now. 
like at this moment. That's why you hear the Star Spangled Banner being played with a saxophone. We should be standing up right now. Uh, no, I don't stand up the, uh, for that unless I'm there. Oh, okay. It's t- I'm not you, that patriot. You, you, you're Patriotic. Going, you're going Kaepernick on this now. Okay. No, I let it be kneeling. Okay. <laughs> I kneel. I kneel for no man. Kaepernick works hard for the money. <laughs> he does. I'm going to get that dick. Shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> she fucking did it. We were, we were talking about that earlier. We Hold were. up. Is, is that Kenny G? Wait, really? Yeah. Possibly. No, that's a black man on the sax. Okay. Andrew did that impression. It was just, it was funny, but it was weird. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Come on. Have that shit on recording. No, I missed it. No, because he'll have it recorded. Okay, well, just turn away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Go get that impression. Go ahead. Go get that dick. <laughs> oh, that made my life. Oh. He, he, he didn't even sound like he was going to rape anybody. He sounded like his cellmate like charged him up like, you can't get in there and rape him. You can't. Just get him in there. Fuck him in his butt. He's like, I can do it. He goes, hey, I like you and I want you. Go get that dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I'm done. Shall I'm, we? Shall we close this out with the Urban Dictionary word of the week? Yeah, I. I mean, unless I, you got something else to say, I get. Well, I mean, I always have something else. We know. To say. We know, motherfucker. Yeah, but I'm gonna say it really quickly, and then we can move on to the urban word. So we're we're gonna plan that. Um, the show is gonna run a little longer, but we are not. I've got a couple of music debuts to okay. hook up, and okay. we're gonna do those. Right at the broadcast, and then I'll come back and I'll say bye and, and all that shit because I know everybody has to get out of here. You've been chilling at a bar at two in the afternoon on a Sunday. Pretty sure that's the second most depraved thing we've done. The first being that we did the show at the same time we did this shit. So there's that. Right. Um, so go ahead and hit that urban word. Okay. And, and then I'll I'll hook this shit up. All right. And just to let you guys know, I will not be here next week. So I got shit to do. But I love you all. Thank you for listening. Oh, uh, well, I'm shit. sorry. Well, Really? I'm, sorry. Hey, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Well, sure. And now it's time for, for the, the Urban Ur- Dictionary. No, they got for the Urban Dictionary Word of the Week. All right. Okay. And the Urban and Dictionary. And now it's oh, time shit. for the Urban Dictionary Word of the Week. Hell yeah. He did and that the, shit. And the Urban Dictionary Word of the Week is small hands. <laughs> <laughs> Minor, medium size. Thank you. Is this okay. the presidential edition? Why are you talking about me? <laughs> oh, um, uh, I was just talking about you holding your tiny sporks. Oh, a, oh a male God. physical oh. attribute with implications of having a small cock. Whoa, whoa, what? Well, I do not have a penis, so small hands are fine for me. That, well, on me. Okay. Well, oh. okay, this is just getting wrong. Yeah, I have small hands. What do you mean getting wrong? Like is. This whole show's been Your wrong. hands aren't big enough to climb out of that hole. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that hole, the hole you dug with your... Oh, fuck you. We're done. My hands are big enough to punch you in the kidney. I wish you would try. Uh-huh. Don't tempt her, buddy. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. You'll go to the hospital. Uh-huh. That's not my kidney. Are you sure? That's his yeah, dick. Do you it. not know anatomy? I rearranged it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I re- Just like my schedule. I rearrange school. internal organs all the time. Mm. So, of course it's... Okay. Okay. See, I don't know. You know what? Fuck you. Just fuck you. Move. Move. Keep doing it. Well, that's it. That's all it is. That's, uh, that is your Urban Dictionary Word of the Week. Okay. Well, you know what? I would like to think that we came in here and had a complete success. It has been awesome. <laughs> it's been something. How about, how about you just not shit on my moment? How about that? How about you just leave my moment alone? Well, I actually have to go take a shit as soon as the show. I over. took 36 oh minutes. Damn. I, you know what? Can... If that's what you're going to leave with, you can just go ahead and go take that shit. You go ahead. No, I'll wait. You, you run that. No, I know, because the microphone's going to stay out here, bro. Go take that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, done. No. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I, I, I fucking can't. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why Surprise! I'm part of this show. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's in your butt. We're done. It's, it's coming out of his butt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking done. This has been... It is what it is here on the Zero G Network. Live from Imperial Public Thank Club. Thank each and every one of you for listening. Andrew, thank our sponsors. 
Okay, we're going to thank our sponsors one last time because without them, we wouldn't be here. Well, first off, I am going to thank, thank you very much, Crystal, Imperial Pub and Club right in Granite City, the 1413 20th Street in Granite City. I'll tell you what, if you want to drink, if you want to eat, if you want to have a good time, bring your ass over here. Get the dick. And oh, then, my God. Wow. <laughs> Not here, though. I think they would frown upon that. Hey, Mike. Come on down to our show. We'll fuck oh, you. my God. <laughs> what, what, what did you see? What oh, here see? he goes. In one Here day, Trump goes. got more fat women out walking than Michelle Obama oh, did see, in now, eight you years. Know what? What? I did, you know what? I didn't like that meme. I didn't really like that meme. You know the other meme I didn't like? Which one? There was somebody that posted a picture of Michelle Obama, which, by the way, she looked hot as fuck in it. And they're like, there'll never be another first lady like Michelle Obama. And I understood what they meant, but all I heard was, so we are not going to have another black first lady. That's <laughs> what the fuck you're getting at. Also, I think it's real <laughs> fucked up that... People have been telling, like, urban communities for years, when you get mad and protest, don't destroy your own neighborhood. Yeah. Trump became president, and white people was just like, fuck it. It fucked up a Starbucks. I think that's a double standard. Oh, I agree. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm not happy about it. So moving on. All right. We're going to thank Mindy Pluma of All-Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram at 314-288-5393. 11503 St. Charles Rock Road in Bridgeton. She will treat you like an all star and find you the best deal on a new or pre owned car. Thanks, Mindy. Thank you very much, Mindy. Also, yes. I'm going to thank this uh, crazy bastard in front of me, Freeze. It's not crazy. You are se. crazy. You're it's... crazy. Your business is not. Okay. Zero Degree Entertainment, 732 474 7393. What does he do? He DJs and he will also preside over your wedding. I try. And I try. What the? Okay. Keep going. Okay. Last okay. but not least, we're going to thank Jeffrey Jeffro Shepard from the AV Lab. If you need any sort of audio or visual work, he will do it. He will make it beautiful. He will make it perfect. 314-722-8522. If you, hey, if you talk to any of our sponsors, tell them that you heard about them from It Is What It Is right here on the Zero G Network. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you guys for being here. Yeah. Okay. Ed, Andrew, Crystal, Phil, if you can hear us, thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Welcome. A big thanks to Andy McKee mm-hmm. of Imperial Pub and Club for letting us come and hang out on the very stage where we come and kick it on the weekends. Well, I come and kick it on the right. weekends, sometimes, mostly. Um, awesome drinks, awesome food, awesome people. Awesome um, prices. I agree. Yes. Um, couple of bartenders down here working their ass off and just super fucking friendly they, there's beck there's tiffany um margie cooks margie cooks damn good shit like margie cooks the stuff like what we've eaten so that's that delicious too. yes the, yes very like absolutely awesome so 1413 east 20th street granite city illinois imperial pub and club you can even come down here when i'm not djing like it it kicks ass even without me here and that's what's cool i agree <laughs> so, um, oh, and we've got music debuts. Jason Mask, you you remember Jason Mask? Right? I do remember. Yes, he has a new track. Can make me a be, sandwich. And we're going to be debuting that right after the show. So, with that being said, thank you all for listening. We ruin every Sunday. Although from here forward, we're going to start doing it at noon. We're going to start running. Are we? The, yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're going to do it at twelve. Yes. And we'll go. The crystal's all happy. She's like, hey, yeah. yeah. Are we going to put it over? Is that going to push us back to 1230 then? I'm not sure. Probably. We'll, we, will figure, we will figure that out. All right, folks. We're just going to tell <coughs> Freeze that it starts at 1130, so then we'll actually start at 12. Okay. All right. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every one of you for listening to each of my good friends be fucking dicks to me. I, <laughs> I, I, you're I, welcome. I do all I can. Hey, Freeze. And it's a, oh, and there he is with the finger. All right. Well, you're off talk. So, Okay. There it is. You're fired from words. You will never work in this conversation again. (laughs) Thank each and every one of you for listening. I can't say that enough. It's been wonderful. And up to this point, the nearly 50 of you that have heard the depravity that erupts from our minds, you are strong people. The fact that you have not run into the streets screaming by now over what we've done is a testament to who the fuck you are. I want to thank each one of our sponsors. Again, thanking Imperial. Thank you guys. Just just thank everybody. Just thanks all over the place. Just I want to put each and every one of your names in my thank bank. 
Oh God, that sounds so wrong. Was that? Did that sound rapey? It really did. Everything okay. you say sounds rapey. Okay, I mean, yeah, enough. pretty much. That well, was too close to spank bank, dude. Uh, that's, really? We all knew, Ed. You didn't have to say it. Okay, first of all, I'm upset that y'all call it a spank bank because my account's been closed for a while and I'm still bouncing checks. <laughs> oh my God. Yep. And on that, we'll see you next week. Jason Mask debut hit produced by 808 Merc, and that is happening right after this. Special boy. You know what your gift is. No matter what they do to you, you cannot die. Everybody knows I got the truth. Tupac, I got the juice. Ain't nobody really fucking with me. I'm Jason, Jason, Master Boo. Everybody knows I got the truth. Tupac, I got the juice. Ain't nobody really fucking with me. I'm Jason, Jason, Master Boo. Everybody knows I got the truth. Tupac, I got the juice. Ain't nobody really fucking with me. I'm Jason, Jason, Master Boo. Everybody knows I got the truth. Tupac, I got the juice. Jason Mask the Boot, the new track produced by 808 Merc. Make sure you get Jason Mask's new album. It is going to be some awesome stuff, and we are going to be playing the hell out of it here because we are a little yeah. fucked up yeah, when it comes yeah. to our music. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening yeah, to the Zero G yeah. Network yeah, yeah. because nothing yeah. will hold us down. Yeah. We're out. Smoking on this gas, man, that shit is really strong. I pull out the grouse and I throw it in a bone. We smoke that shit, then we go about a day. I got freaky with the bitch, 50 shades of gray. If she say she love me, I ain't even gonna listen. I smoke.